Yes, and untouched. We are Spoon 107.5 FM. From the top of Wologisi to the beaches of Maryland, we cover Liberia like nobody else does. This is Spoon 107.5 FM. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEO Stan Tony with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South Bend. Spoon to be part of the special Spoon, 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 Spoon gonna tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to the spoon, oh, to the spoon, you ain't know. Did the children cry for starvation just to the spoon? You want to get a news update, my brother, to the spoon. You want to know what is happening, my brother, to the spoon. Politicians want to make their decision just to the spoon. You want to know what happened in any ministry to the spoon? Yeah, 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 to spoon. Yeah, yeah, to the spoon. You from Fontema, Maryland, to the spoon. Yeah, yeah, to the spoon. If you ain't kept my regular, my brother, to the spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, two to spoon. Yeah, 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 two to spoon. You want to get a news update, two to spoon. What, what? Yeah, Rastafara. Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba. Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba. What I want? Yes, I do, but I do. from Nippet Town community on the old road. Uh, he says, behind Lucky Pharmacy. So that is a vivid description of where he's watching us from. A uh, pleasant night to you, Dwana Eddie Mohamed. Uh, Patrick Collet is also following us tonight here on Spoon TV. Osman Ali is watching us from Foya Statutory District, Lofa County. Uh, Priscilla Saki Cooper is watching us from Weala there in my Gipi county as well as charles deline who's following us from ghana um, via youtube hope you're doing great philip bala is also watching us from bulletin um bulletin um if, if that is uh, okay that's lawrence sd myers is watching us from cody var bulletin okay um sonny tube is also following us as well from the roberts international airport um we have margaret morgan margaret morgan is also watching aaron koluba sumo 
um, is watching as well. Uh, let's see a lot of folks. Uh, Joki, Joki, that is the name. He's watching us via YouTube. Uh, Joki is following us tonight. Um, Christiana Okara Davis is also watching. Journalist Markintosh Soreves is watching us from SKD Boulevard. Mohamed K S Masakwa is watching us from Ta Town on the Old Road. Uh, Daniel B Monyade is watching us from Staten Island, there, New York. Abdullah. Uh, let me get the full name of Abdullah. Abdullah. Uh, Abdullah MCC is also watching, as well as Ambrose Bleedy is watching us from Roberts International Airport. SB Beat. <laughs> SB. You can do beat, eh? Uh, SB Beat is watching us from ERW and Nangwe Town Community, as well as Mary Finda Human is also following. Julius Pone is watching us from The Hague in the Netherlands. Whenever you hear The Hague, then you think about former President Charles Taylor. Um, the Hague in the Netherlands. I never knew the Hague was actually a place, uh, the name of a place. I thought it was just the name of the court. But then we learn every day. Um, D. Franklin Malima Pekin. D. Franklin Malima Pekin is watching us. Ruth Samuels Kier is also watching us from the U.S. William Willie Lloyd is watching us from um, Tony Street Synchro. Alice K. Pema is watching us from Bartnersville Patients Shop. Well, we'll keep on listing and naming and announcing those of you watching as we progress throughout the show. Uh, but we'd love to say pleasant night to all those of you watching us from Liberia and good afternoon uh, from the people watching us in Kisi Camp because we've been told that in Kisi Camp, you know, <laughs> it's in the afternoon. Whenever it's nighttime in Liberia, they live in a different time zone. It's a pleasant Saturday night here in Liberia. A lot happening in the country. The rest of the panelists are definitely going to join on and you can brace yourselves for another wonderful and informative edition of Spoon Talk. You know, every time we keep setting the standard, you know. So the last edition of Spoon Talk, I enjoyed it. And the next one, is, oh, I one beats the other one. That's what Spoon Talk does. That's the reason you keep coming back for more and more. This is your one-stop shop of getting authentic, factual, balanced, and of course, fiery information as well. Weeks um, is also watching us. Um, Conan Gotta is watching us tonight as well. So we'll talk about a few trending issues happening in the country. The guest tonight is uh, Mr. F Simeon Freeman the political leader of the movement for progressive change, the MPC, is going to join us. Um, the former CEO, Mr. Stanton Alexander Witherspoon, and the rest of the panelists, including Dr. Francine Chino with Richardson, is going to be on, as well as your favorite panelist, Isaac Doe, is also going to join later on the show as well. So a lot of things happening in the country. Um, key amongst these things is, when are we going to start singing on a lion in a town, German shepherd dog and tento bobo, you know, when are we going to enjoy those beautiful songs from the National County Sports Meet, the country's biggest sporting event? It was postponed from last year. We were told March. Now we're in March. What, we, what we've been informed of is that April 14th, not next week, as we're anticipating the 15th of March to begin the National County Sports Meet, but we've been informed again that it's been pushed to the 14th of April for the commencement of the national county sports meet well again um the entire country looks forward to that particular sporting event that is our biggest sporting event in the country and we've been informed that the national county sports meet is definitely going to kick off on the 14th of april and we hope this time around it wouldn't be pushed uh, we want to enjoy ourselves for some of us who are our counties <laughs> regularly don't come to town <laughs> Can just go there because duty calls. Yeah, but for those of you who your counties can come to town, you know, you guys have fun and I can wish you a better. We pray this time around our counties, you know, for us that our counties don't usually come to town. That's because of the road network. It's not really <laughs> conducive to move on all the way Grinchy there to come to Morovia. So, so we just look at it for long. We say, look, we 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 just want to be coming, you know, to town. We are leading thing for those who close out to town. But we hope and pray uh, that the county sports meet, you know, as it does, always brings the nation together in sporting um, fun and unity as well. Well, Manoa, <laughs> Manoa, the old man who went viral by saying, Boga nana baby, you get your frisky. You know, she met with the president and all that. She's been having her time, her fame, and all that. And we pray that Manoa doesn't leave the social media space, you know, um, those who are content producers and the rest and creators and that, promoters and managers could look into Manoa 
and tap into the fame that she has gained from that and try to turn her into a household name and make that whole bangan and baby thing into into you know a slang that will be copyrighted and all of that that she can you know benefit from that monetarily as well but Manoa say uh Manoa has got a meal so honorable Yaga Koluba has said Manoa just ready on cloud nine you know she just enjoying fame she's met with the president and bragan and baby the print the printing the own t-shirt and all that thing and you get too frisky so you guess enough is enough <laughs> as if it's warranted the district number 10 representative says on monday he has invited the media that he's going to address man noah <laughs> what up i got an update what are you get your frisky you know what i did he say enough is enough so monday will be listening to what you know honorable yaga koduba has got to tell man noah you know but man noah <laughs> honorable koduba say you've been enjoying too much so it's about time now that he responds to you and uh, you know well, what a, again, whether that is warranted, again, we don't know. Uh, but <laughs> if it's going to propel Manoa to further fame, well, we'll watch it and we're following that as well. There is drama happening at the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. The Justice in Chamber, His Honor Justice Yusuf Kaba, has issued a stay order, a writ of prohibition, on the managerial activities of Mr. or Dr. Yuri Yapawolo, who was appointed by President Baikai to steer the affairs of the Environmental Protection Agency. But Prof. Wilson Tapper said, no, <laughs> it will not happen like that. Yeah, he ran to court. And the judge has issued a stay order, prohibition, a writ of prohibition, and has invited the two parties to a conference. You know, and we'll be following up on that as well, how that is going to play out. So on Tuesday, um, they will be going to the chambers of Justice Yusuf Kaba for a conference to talk about who's legitimately occupying the, the uh, executive director position of the EPA. Whether Professor Wilson Tape, who was on this show some weeks back and did admit that he wasn't, you know, appointed by the policy uh, committee that should have submitted three names to President Weir, um, who, who then would have chosen one of the three names, but rather that process wasn't followed, due process wasn't followed according to his own admission, but have said the way President Baka just sent that to Yuri Yakbawolo there like that to just take him from in your office and go down well with him. Yeah. So he has run to the place that interprets the law, which is the court, to have the matter settled. According to him, he's got seven years. You know, he was uh, given a seven-year tenure, which is the executive director position. You have seven years at the EPA, and as such, <laughs> you want the court to determine who going to be the executive director of the EPA. Remember, Prof. Wilson Tapper is the acting executive director, but he's saying he still won't be acting. Yeah, the flow too sweet to just, you know, to just walk away <laughs> from the place that you have to be acting to protect the environment properly. So he's not leaving that position as well president barker has returned from the ivory coast um he was given the nation's highest honor same as president we was when he visited the ivory coast and interestingly people have been posting pictures on social media to compare and contrast now who wore the foreign traditional clothes who didn't wear who wore the size who all of that but all that in and just you know uh, support us just doing nothing and to pass time on social media um but librarians are eager to note President Alassane Ouattara posted on Facebook that he did have a fruitful meeting with his brother. That is how he, he referred to President Baika as his brother. And their conversation centered around trade, agriculture, energy, and, you know, other essential things that, that is needed by the three, you know, by the, the, by the two countries. But Liberians are paying much more attention to the president's interaction with the CLSG. You got it in an plainer. The current situation needs to be addressed. And um, President Barker did visit CLSG's headquarters there in Ivory Coast. And as to what is the outcome of that discussion, we want to see it manifest in how stable electricity will be in our country. Um, as we do need stable electricity, you know, to foster more trade, uh, more industrial activities, and of course, for us to, you know, live 
much more comfortable than what we're doing now. So that trip, key amongst all of the things that were discussed, the ego eye is much more on what comes out of the CRSG interaction. Well, we'll open the phone lines for a bit for you to tell us what's on your minds. Um, this pleasant night, uh, Madam Lady Nimle, <laughs> how are you, ma'am? Um, AJ walking by faith, hope you're doing great. Uh, tell us the experience again. We still want to know, as we provided the education on the exchanging or the clearing out of the bank notes on the market, we want you to tell us whether or not you're still experiencing the refusal of the Liberian dollars bank notes by some merchants or traders and what you need to do. As we said um, on, on Thursday, what you need to do is to go to any commercial bank uh, and then exchange your Liberian dollars, the series that have been, you know, recalled off the market, withdrawn, as you say. They've been withdrawn off the market. The old bank notes that replaced the five Liberian dollars that we had in uh, 1998, 99, thereabout, you know, 2000, thereabout, mm -hmm. that will be changed. The first set of bank notes that were printed under the Ellen Johnson Salif regime will be changed. And the first set of bank notes that were printed under the George Mann and Weah regime will also be changed. The only ones that will be retained, you know, that the latest series um, that was printed will share those pictures with you again um, so that you can better go out there and have this thing done. On the 31st of March, all that will be over. All that will definitely be over. So if you have plenty of the liberty keeping, so now you get it in bag, Ghana must go. You have been keeping it because you just get love for liberty. Well, what you need to do is go to any commercial bank if your money is above 10,000 Liberian dollars and you have to open an account. That is by directive of the Central Bank of Liberia. You open an account and you deposit your money and you have your money, you know, exchanged for you to the bank notes, the series that will be in circulation. But if it's below 10,000 Liberian dollars, all you need to do is just to walk into any commercial bank and have them, you know, exchange your money for you, give you the series that will be in circulation as per the center of the central bank's directive to avoid yourself all of the trouble. But people refusing the money, don't go start doing kitty kitty kata kata and start fretting there. Oh, eh, you're forced to hold the money for me and all that kind of thing. And sometimes it's better to avoid noise. So now to avoid the noise, just go to the commercial banks. If you're in an area that there is no commercial bank, the radio jingles will tell you where you have to go and exchange your money at. Look for your Susu Club or your Savings and Loan Club or your Macro Finance area. You go and have your money exchanged. Nobody should tell you, say, oh, the new version for old version is really different because we want to take advantage of things in a country. Nobody will tell you, say, oh, <laughs> If you bring a bank note for the for 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 the new bank note, uh, the bank note that will be in circulation, and the old one, like hundred dollar or the old bank note for for eighty dollar or the new one, no, you're not looking at that. You're not changing your tier money. Hundred dollar for hundred dollar, one to one. That's why it's advisable that if you're facing any problems, which you shouldn't be facing, but again, you have to understand that some people are afraid that they don't want to have much more of the money in their hands that they will be caught up in the web. So go to the lay commercial bank that near you. In a bank, whether you get a account there, you don't get a account there, your money below 10000 just walk there. Senior bank has already be paying me now for the service I give you, but you, but you will say no, you're all right, you're in it, but we'll do it for the library people. Just go straight there with your money. And say, oh, I can't exchange the money for the bank note that will be in circulation. The one will be using. It is their duty to exchange that money for you, free of charge. No exchange rate benefit between it. That oh, the old money that you bring in, and I will not be using. You have to give me ten thousand or if I'm going to give you nine thousand or the one I will be using. Aren't you? Don't let nobody put you in a corner. So go to where you have to exchange your money. If you're experiencing people refusing the money, don't go make noise there. Then the people you go out like you book man. No, person will refuse the money. You try to plead with them. They say no. Say okay. Go to where you can have your money exchanged for you. Sometimes it's better to avoid the noise. But you just sit down and say, Hara no. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the phone line. 0 triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Those are the numbers to call. The Freeport of Monrovia has issued a media statement, a press statement, that they're investigating how rice. <laughs> yeah. Rice was illegally, unscrupulously, nicodemously, and the rice was taken for under the pot. 
So they're investigating that. And when they finish investigating, when they come up with their findings, they are going to inform the public as to how that happened. But if you're hearing reports that, oh, rise from the port, just got legs and you walk out, the free port of from the authorities of the National Port Authority, the leaders, including um, MD um, Dugley, says they are definitely looking into that, they're investigating that. It will be an impartial investigation, and those who will be found culpable, they will tell or how they rest managed to leave. All right, 0 triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. One minute per caller, please just tell us what's on your mind to give as many uh, callers the chance and the opportunity to say what's on their minds. Hello, hello, hello. let's hear you out. I can hear you. Uh, my name is Jason Spewell. I'm off my red light. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I listened to the community we said last night. Mm. All that he was saying that he, I mean, uh, he got injured during the war, his family got killed, everything should be let back on be back on. I think that all of back on be back on will be for him. And this old man, I have listened to him clearly. He was one of those who signed a document and he said he did not read all of the details. So he has surprised me a lot. Yeah, he said he has really surprised me. They walk out court, I don't care how he sees it, it's going to be established. I was talking to you, my father got killed. I didn't even know, I don't even know why they bury him. I mean, should it be bad one, be bad one, as he said? For me, he's not serious. No. Uh, do you know what we said? Forget about it. They walk out court, it's going to be established. Thank you, have a good night. Thank you. Condolences to you as well. Let's take this person here. 0 triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Hello. Yeah, demo. Yes, sir. Let's hear yeah. you out, please. Yeah, give me good evening to you. Pleasant night to you, sir. How are you? Thank you. My name is Mohammed M. Kanantino. I will be a member of the current defense team of the West Mutant Party. Defense team of what kind of party? I said to you of the rescue mission team. Oh, so you get your own headquarter now, you're defending. My fellow will defend for the city. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> well, let me appreciate uh, the, the fund of food that were on board. You have started on Edison and Water Spoon team for him giving all the platform to express our differences, what's on our mind. You know, for me, let me for this say thanks to President Baga for him, pointing one of our colleagues, or, or Mr. Noah Saul gives him. Mr. Kahn, by the time director. you finish with all I want and then you one minute finish. Yes, no, I think uh, President Baga, he, he, he well about being uh, uh, not into the self position. I think, I think other ministry or agency, I think, you should also look in that direction too, I think, because we are seeing the level of North Africa getting surfing, surfing to represent the uh, of people as a future impaired person. I think a set of very good precedents okay. within this uh, within the government. So okay. I think that's a great or uh, uh, credit to all of government that will even come over to, to, to see how for them to share the legacy of President Baga. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so who burger? What's on now? Yeah, I want to talk about that. James Gary Hatton is in my ear. <laughs> he telling me about your hair color. He got I no, I'm talking to Dama on the show. I'm telling yeah, Dama, you me Hatton. Papa and son, what can happen? I hair go. I mean, when you see a hair go, <laughs> no, I tell you what it begin. <laughs> James, James. I put you on speaker. Damo won't hear what you're saying. I put you on speaker. You did what? I eat him biscuit. Well, I got a ledger to where I can be on who eat him biscuit. He eat him biscuit. He walking on the road. He, he can't wake up. Hold on, baby. Let me hear you. 
You can give me Hannah. He called me all day to tell me that he live in the house. He called me that he on his way. Am I a babysitter? No, but he met he met partner, so he needs to. No, but he called that he live in the house. Yeah. He called that he on his way home. He called that he eating biscuit. You hear what he saying? So you eating biscuit? So what kind of biscuit you eating? Mary biscuit? Uh, uh, you, you just ain't the top you do. They call it biscuit coco. Coco? Yes, he was <laughs> All right, James. So eat your biscuit. When you get home, you walk out on the show, kind of show. Is there anything else you want us to do for you? My bass for the biscuit. <laughs> So you want bar surgery for you too? Yeah, you bar surgery bar soda for you. No, I'm going to the supermarket here to get oil. I want to cook something and direct. What kind of oil are you going to get? I go oil. So you're going to get the cooking oil. You're going yeah. to get a you won't get a vegetable oil. Yes. So what kind of dry are you cooking? The man woman to know everything. <laughs> you see what I can go through, Dama? You see what I can go through? Jin whole life. What so what kind of what kind of uh, uh dry rice you cooking now? I decide when I get to the wall, decide why is your decide what kind of jar to cook? <laughs> so, so you got pork, right? Steve Carney, I never had chance to even cook. I slept for over two hours. So you got pork? No, I got pork. I got peak. You got what? Peak, peak. Peak? What the hell you call peak? Yeah. You you guys you got you got you got sawfish? No, I said I peak. I guess. You gonna cook dry rice with peak? No, I will cook the uh, peak with beans. So, okay, so are you cooking dry rice or are you cooking beans? I'm going to cook sardine dry rice because in this case already after ten. Oh, so you're going to put sardine dry rice. Okay. Okay. You, you're going to put some luncheon meat in your, in your dry rice? No, only sardine. Only sardine. Okay. With pepper and chicken soup and everything. The one that, uh, or, yeah. uh, or, uh, how you call the lady sent you? Oh, Chatu. Chatu, the one that Chatu sent you. <laughs> you took <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 the one I just to say, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So Jatu listen to you. Jatu say cook it good. I, I, I thought I got it oil, right? No oil. Okay, but no oil there. So James, do us a favor. We send you the link right now, James. Come in by way of the link. Right? Once you we store you in. All right. So go in the chat room. Come come in by way of the link, James. Let's see we store you in. Why? I can't make it. Why? I can't make it. Because I I really uh that now you see my phone. That's why. So the only way I'll continue will be through my computer. But you you don't have your computer there. No, I already I already got what I wanted. So I, I'm leaving. Ah, now the other temple. Ah, right, my man, we'll see you later, man. You're disturbing us. We got show to do. See you on the show. Uh, <laughs> Every day, James will give me hard time. Uh, Honorable uh, Freeman said he's backstage. No, you are not. We are not seeing him. If let me call, let me call Mr. Freeman. I don't think he's backstage. But you see, Diamond, you see my trouble from since they want they pretty much giving me trouble. Yeah, but you, you, you're not you, backstage you, you, here, though. You got to come in, come in. Um, no, if they say if they say the if they say the show ended, then you get the wrong link. Mm -hmm. Can you can you can you send me the link, Damon? Let me send yeah, it I'm, to I'm, you. I'm on that send right it now. to Mr. Freeman. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll send it to you. Yeah. I'm on that right now. I'm sending it to you, sir. Yeah. Ah uh, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, James, 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 James. Anybody that know James, please help me. Dama, help me. That's James' problem. He's going to cook his own dry rice, but he must call me. 
But the way I got me go haul into then at two calls, you'll be receiving. How you manage? <laughs> I, I have to just black you up for someone. <laughs> <laughs> James will be calling, calling, calling like, come on, James. I mean. Hey, Mr. Freeman said it ain't working all. Yeah, I just sent you the new one. I just sent it to him. Yeah, that's that's the link for the current. And that's the, the link that brought me in. Yeah. No. Hold on, let me, let, let, let me try talking to him again. Okay, so I'll, I'll hold on the fort until you come. Okay. So, folks, as we are doing some technical adjustments to bring on the guest, who is the leader of the Movement for Progressive Change, the MPC, uh, bear with us a minute, and let's take at least two more calls. So you tell us what's on your mind. At least two more calls to bar's time. Hello? Hello? Okay, I lost that person there. Hello? 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 Yes, let's hear you out, please. Yes, my name is Bangali Jawad. I'm calling from Numa County. Okay, go ahead. Yes, what I did, I want to... I want to congratulate the CEO to tell me that he's doing very good work on the show. The one thing that I can hear my own show is as I say on the show, the 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 the, the whole show. You say anything I say doing the show again? Check out the whole show. Yeah. Oh. They do on the show. The the whole show. They go out and get the the show is better. Your line is terrible, sir. I'm finding it difficult to understand you. I say. Uh huh. Yeah, any time as as they do, I I never talk to the CEO. As they do on the show, the way they do it, it's something as they do. How about you mention that thing? They just show that they interest me. Oh, so it's as they do again. Can't check out the whole show in your spotty. Yeah. Oh. All the questions I get, I don't say nothing. But 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 you but you you are you are aware that Mister Do is also entitled to his opinion, and he's got his own fan base and following. Yeah, get proud of the wing and chagrin issue. You know, you know, you try to speak out for 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 granny, and they can't get him to to speak. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. That that message was for you. <laughs> you muted, sir. I, I heard a message in the back. Uh, <laughs> you, you know why, Philip Bala? Welcome to the show, Philip. Uh, uh, let me say this though: we we all would not be on one political party ticket. You know, it it, it have to be just. Let, let me let me take this demo please let me take this yeah um glenny i see glenny in the background she's coming on uh, because the caller mentioned her name so she just appeared like that you know <laughs> yeah all right hello y'all hmm. i hear you now call out there mm. yeah i get nothing to say i ain't get nothing to say the way he thinks uh. But I'm not talking for you now. The man say, the man say anytime we get on the show, we can interrupt. I said, do that. Right, he said, yeah, that was, I think I heard that last. Yeah. Again, 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 made it. Man, do not really make points on that. But first, yeah. the show, so I know where really, you know. I don't understand where we heading now. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Glenny. Armstrong Jabba. How are you doing, Armstrong? It's good to have you on. Glenny, as always, it's good to have you. Is it raining at your end, Glenny? Yes, a lot. It took me a yeah. lot to get out of bed. We didn't ask you that, Glenny. We I just asked you it's raining. It's raining, nice Glenny, weather. Glenny, I'm Glenny. Now watching my videos. I had to get out to come to work. But anyway, we hear your hello, my people. And this is your job, right? That job. 
Glenny, today, pa, I can promise everybody when once it's six thirty, me, I leave it from here. Very good. Me, I want to stay yeah. class there. Six thirty, me. <laughs> I can see that Mr. Fruma is in the back. We'll bring him on shortly, folks. I've been out doing a lot. I'm so hungry, but I have to. We have to come and serve you. It's rainy. It's just a day to relax. But for Glenny to relax, she will have to go to the library. I don't even know why you get okay. out of that program. Let me do my talking, Glenny. You're picky. I hate when you interrupt me, man. Let me do my I talking. I think the she can do it as you do. <laughs> yes, man. What's Folks, and I will say this. Uh, we'll stay with him for Sam Jackson. Maybe he will come because it's not easy in the chat room. That's so uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What do you like our chat room? I guess also metro people. Nobody take anything, you mm know. -hmm. Nobody fight and nobody take any. But the person that in that chat room, like driving acid, do crazy. That like Steven Johnson. <laughs> Steven Johnson cannot give acid to a chance. No He's chance. been learning. Steven Johnson said he will personally volunteer <laughs> with the acid recovery team to go get a car from acid. <laughs> and I thought these guys are friends. I really thought these guys are friends. He is personally saying that he will go and get that. I said, though, it's coming on. I was going to speak to Fagon today. Let me just give you an update on Fagon. And you know what, Dharma? Two of your guys went over to Fagon, Aaron Kuban and Chokon. They want to visit Fagon today. All right. Guess what these guys, well, what they were drinking? Club beer. Mm. I have to picture. Club beer. I didn't know Chokon could drink club beer. If I go on her COVID, if I go on her COVID in La Bureau, they prescribe for Fagon, Daxoslane, and all the COVID medicine, the antibiotics. I call Fagon video. I was so concerned. I said, my man, what's happening? Your boss man, they have done his confirmation hearing and they, and they, they, they confirm him. Your boss man. What's his name, Jerry? Let me Pierre. <laughs> If I don't say, oh, man, that probably you're looking for you, that get me into it. <laughs> yeah, that would mean, sir. But what happened with you, Fagon? Why are you not going for your confirmation hearing? Fagon said he had to beg Edwin Snow, talk to Edwin Snow, you know, to quiet things down and settle with Edwin Snow. Because he was very he was very rough on Edwin Snow when you talk about this whole Western, Western cluster. cluster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say the people are keep mom or kick Edwin Snow out and all this thing. So I said, come on, it's coming back to you now. So if I go ahead and call Edwin Snow and you know work something out. So they don't put him on the schedule for Monday, two o'clock. Mm. Yeah, they don't put him on the schedule. Monday, two o'clock. Man, if I go on, lost a lot of weight, but his mm -hmm. stomach is still there. Yeah, no shirt on. I said, if I go on, what happened? He said, my man, it's hot. He said, the LDC not helping. I said, no, if I go, on, go back to your clip. When you told the Labrand people, Mm -hmm. Now, Monica think will solve this LDC thing in three days. Go back to your clip. He said, oh, man, I, I get no more money left. And I buy a few, buy a few, buy a few. I can't even go to the office. And, you know, and, you know, if I go and tell him me that his cash app is working in Liberia, I should announce it. So what we do here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then we'll there. Oh, yeah. That's our general position. <laughs> no, no more. You are not telling me that I should tell our folks that his cash app is working in Liberia. I don't know why. You the boss man for ELBC, LBS, whatever way you were calling. You the boss. Mm -hmm. I don't say, oh man, that play that desert. He said, I played a desert. And I, I, I'm looking at Fagon. I can see the picture, no shirt. He's sweating. My man, something got to, something got to happen. Apart from all joke. And you know what? I'm not even going to keep Mr. Freeman in the back. Mr. Freeman always here. Let's have the conversation together. Uh, welcome to the show, Mr. Freeman. It's good to have you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Witherspoon. It's been a while since I was on the show. Mr. Slanga, how are you? I'm good, sir. Pleasure. Uh, and also, who's Miss uh, Madam, what's your name? 
Clendy, how are you? What, what, what's, what's your name, madam? Glendy Jane Junius. Glendy, Glendy. Okay. Oh, okay, madam Junius, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Welcome. Thank uh, so uh, Mr. Fuma, your light, your, your, your lightning is not too, it's like it puts you in the cloud. Uh, yeah, that's where I am. I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, that way you can come back because we'll finish the Fagon story yet. Uh, it's, it's good to have you on, uh, Mr. Fremont. I just want to get you involved because Fagon says something today that is so discouraging. And uh, my dear friend and brother Fagon asked me, he said, my man, my cash app work in Liberia. And I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he said, tell the people to, you know, it's not easy. So I want to say to every one of you, I'm going to say actually announce that after his confirmation, he will come on spoon and, you know, to have one final interview and uh, to serve as panelists before taking over. Mm. Uh, but he cash out does work in Liberia and uh, he wanted to let you know it's not easy. He was sweating like a bit of gold, Mr. Freeman. He had no shirt on. Uh, but what was discouraging is that he was drinking club beer. You know, the big... Uh, Green bottle that say club beer on it, like this is a club beer. Right, right. You know, yeah, he right. put it to your mouth. I will call. I will call. I will call Mr. Fagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call him. Uh, he did all the. All, you know, I, 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 Mr. Fagon, are you discouraged that you're going to serve as director general DG for LBS? Uh, the Fagon that I know. He said, "My man." It is what it is. I felt so bad, Glenny, when he said it is what it is. And I asked him, I said, but what do you mean? I said, you are free. You can speak. You can go back to America, you know? He said, I, I yet to serve the country. I said, well, you know, you are restricted. You cannot do propaganda again. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll have to talk to my boss, your limit Pierre, because I cannot be quiet. Now, I even believe it. I believe that one. If I go and say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have that have a good show, folks. It's everything, every day we do this for the fun of it. It's nothing serious. But yes, indeed, I spoke to Fagon. He's, he wanted to announce to you that his cash app stays the same. You know, he's going to start work immediately after he's confirmed. But right now, it's dry, does sweet. But what you'll be eating before those all turn dry. So I just want you, right. if you can, uh, we just got to do it. Welcome to the show, Mr. Freeman. Uh, yeah, hang out with all diamond till we can have another person coming on. The guys are coming on, you know, it's raining, it's cold, it's wet. Yeah, this part of the eastern part of America is kind of like too wet for today. It's something strange. Yesterday the sun was up and today is cold and wet, you know. But it is why it is. Um, what bring you here, Mr. Fremont? You accepted our invite, but uh, let's give you the chance to talk to us, Mr. Fremont. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be on the show. Um, I'm sorry. I'm work. sorry, uh, sir. I'm sorry. You got your finger on the camera? Do you have... Can you hear me? Do you have your finger on the camera? Mm -hmm. Now it's good if you want to leave it like that. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. Thank you, sir. Go so ahead, Can sir. you hear me loud and clear? Yes, you are good. You are. Right. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the invite. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for the hard work you've done with the show, in spite of the, the personal challenges. And you have demonstrated massive resilience in the face of massive challenges. And we want to thank you for picking up the show and for the rest of your crew that have been very supportive. Um, to your, to your, to, to your, to your other host, are you related to the late JD Genius? He was my father. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Small word. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll talk after the show. Sure. That's your boss. That's your boss again. Okay. You're from Basel. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Right. He was my family well, man, so I didn't know. Okay. Mm, yeah, but it's good to have you, Mr. Fremont. Let's get into it. You had a press conference that irritated a lot of folks. 
you know, I love to be mm. on the right corner and be straight up when we go through this conversation. Uh, a lot of folks reach out to me and say, can we better understand Mr. Freeman, where he coming from since after the election? Uh, it seemed to be that uh, you come in swinging so hard with less than three months to go. Uh, here we are, you're making a very strong argument. You have a similar argument uh, on the side of Yaya Dimle. I said, chill, relax, let, let's do the people business. Let's talk about the bread and butter the issue. Then everything else can come along. So I want to give you the chance to speak to those things. Uh, let's have a choir and a decent program tonight, sir. Right, but before I come in, I, I wish you could elaborate a little bit. You say I had a lot of people anger. Um, what what was some of the basis of the anger? Your um, and again, we uploading where we want to come from with your price interview that you had talking about. Uh, this president, President Jose Yeman Barca, she solved uh, the bread and butter issue relating to the people needs and not to be too hasty and going for war the economic crime code and other issue that is the bigger and broader picture. So the little thing, the LDC issue, the fuel, the rice, and you know, bringing something that women Cody and my partner want today, then going on something for something that will be two, three years to come. So uh, your own spoon talk, uh, let's make the argument. Yeah, you're let's right. See uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, you see, Mr. Wilson, the thing is that, let's go back to the numbers. After the numbers were tallied, I stand to be corrected. President Boyer had over 17,000 more votes for the The votes were spread among the participants. Um, if you look at the number, there were about, I think, 2.9 million registered voters. I stand to be corrected. I think 2.9. Um, uh, in the second round, I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. We're not hearing you. We are not hearing you. Can you hear? Can you hear me now? Yes, it's better now. Yes. Okay, good. So you had about 2.4 million um, registered voters. Um, I think 2.4. I stand to be corrected. Um, you had about I think 1.6 or 1.5 million participating in the second round. Um, where uh, uh, Vice Pre I mean, uh, Karim Boyka won after the votes were finally tallied about 17,000 votes. Uh, that's not an overwhelming mandate to lead. Um, upon assuming the office of the presidency, uh, there are major challenges. Um, electricity, unemployment has been a perennial issue. Health is a major issue. Education has been a serious issue. Um, infrastructure have always been an issue. May has been in free fall. Inflation has been a major issue. You don't tackle any of that. The first thing you want to tackle is uh, war crimes court, uh, issues of uh, corruption, asset recovery. And, and, and to me, they seem to be all of the missteps. Uh, assets are rarely recovered by professionals. Uh, assets are not recovered by politicians, um, and 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 so you have you have uh, lots of missteps. And of course, uh, from our experience, um, I think you put uh, from from our experience um, in Sierra Leone. I think, uh, and again, I stand to be correct. There, about three hundred million dollars was spent on a four. I think four or five persons were um, arrested. Um, I think four or five persons were arrested and jailed, and after that, 300 million was just over. Uh, the thing with war crimes court in, in Liberia, we've been arguing, and I, I've asked journalists, I've asked lots of people, if somebody killed your relative today, are you going to wait for a war crimes court? They all say no, there's a resounding no. What are you going to do? You're going to find your pieces of evidence, get your lawyers, do your witness protection, and go to court. If we have evidence that certain Liberians perpetrated actions against other Liberians, do we need a war crimes court to, to have them prosecuted or the government of Liberia capably and take the course of action or go criminally? So if they go criminally, it means it's the government of Liberia taking up the case, they will have to invest in witness protection program, 300 million, 
less than $2 million. Invest in witness protection program. You have private security firms uh, or the state could provide security for witnesses and go to court. Uh, this whole issue of stirring up the country because you want to go after certain people, it doesn't add up to me because it just doesn't make sense. As you just come to power, you've got too many issues in the country, too many challenges. Look, you have not even formed a government. Some of the reasons why the budget cannot even be submitted is because the way the budget process works, the ministries and agencies of government need to submit the budget. A lot of these ministries, health and, and other people, don't even have complete deputy ministers. They don't even know their way around. So how do they even submit a budget? And, and the longer you take to submit a budget, the longer the, it's going to take for the government to, to even have an economic program. You need to have the figures also from the, 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 the revenue authority to say this is what's going to be available per quarter. All of these things take time and processes. And miss all of these shortfalls, then you come up with a strategy of going after a few, I mean, after a few people. We think that just doesn't add up. Do we need to investigate? You know when everybody say, oh, the audit report say, those of us that are professional know an audit report is only an opinion. It's an opinion of the individual based on the expertise and experience of the person auditing. That's why lawyers will tell you they have to weigh that evidence like you weigh meat or you weigh fish or whatever. They have to weigh it to, to determine that that particular evidence is strong enough to, to, to even be submitted to a judge and it's enough to convict a person. All these things will take time, it's gonna take money. So the first thing we could do, like we suggested in our press conference, what's up a, a, a visa-free waiver to Liberia? Which will open the floor gate for Africans that want to invest, other people that want to invest, even Liberians in the diaspora that have to pay 250, 150 or whatever just to come back to Liberia, could get on a plane and come and look for possibilities of investment. What's up a visa re re reciprocity? Simple things like you go to, an, to an, any of these embassies, they give you one year multiple visa at most because every time their professional, um, their um, residents come here, we give them one year work and resident permit. Can we extend that to five years? How does that impact the investment climate? The outcome that you're getting in Kenya, in Rwanda, those kinds of outcomes could just come here. Um, and, 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 and so look, Every one of these countries on this, uh, you know, uh, are on the continent, whether it's Seychelles, Mauritius, that have Singapore, that have visa-free arrangement, you can see how much they're doing for their country. We think there are some simple things. We also suggested the issue of reducing the uh, interest rate. The interest rate in Liberia is aggressive. If you borrow 200,000, you have to be paying almost 30% Liberian dollars. It's crazy. And there is no moratorium. If you borrow a dollar, you have to be paying about 14% per annum. It's crazy. Can we work on that? Those are bread and butter issues that's going to change. Can we go up? Can we increase the single for 1 million? If you wanted to do agriculture, Mr. Witherspoon come, he wants to do agriculture. The most he can borrow from any bank in Liberia is just $1 million. And then he has to pay 14% interest. Can we work on those kinds of things? quickly yes those things require simple meetings and it doesn't require noise but it seemed to me the strategy of the unity party government is since we have all of these inadequacies let's go after these people with war crimes court with audit asset recovery and all these things in that way that will give us the the breathing space that we need uh for some of the times we've wasted don't forget, when President Boyka was elected, he went to America for three weeks. I think three weeks, two days. I stand to be corrected. And, and during that time, he could form a government. Today, there is so much rush and, 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 and there is so much disaster. You listen to the camp, uh, the John Brown name will be submitted, approved, and then in the process of finally getting it out, somebody else's name is placed on the list. There is so much chaos within his own camp. He needs to correct that quickly. You know, instead of correcting that, then we have all of these problems. Then lastly, government has been expanded, like I say in my press conference. Director of the cabinet, we last heard that thing on a Samuel Doe. It left, and then you have all of these advisors. Every time you appoint an officer at a senior cabinet position or ministerial position, he has to probably create another 100 people around him. And you have a record. 
when 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 Judy Bryan, Charles Taylor left this place, and Judy Bryan took over, they left about thirty-five thousand people working for government. Ellen took it to fifty thousand, fifty fifty-five. George Weah took it to seventy thousand. Who knows? Is Bueka going to take it to ninety thousand or ninety-five thousand? And that's how the wage bill rose. Today, the wage bill is about three hundred fourteen million dollars a year. Government operating costs about two hundred eighty something million. That's crazy. You're talking five hundred eighty something million dollars. All right, five hundred ninety-seven million dollars per annum just for government operating costs and a wage bill. These are things we need to be discussing. These are things I expect, you know, uh, President Boyka to be gathering professionals, irrespective of where they come from, to have discussions. But the misstep, the infighting, the backbiting, look, 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 look at the disaster that happened at Social Security. These are things that need to be discussed. These are things that need, people need to sit down around the table and talk about. Just like you're talking about Mr. Fagon and we're smiling. It's serious. Deputy ministers can't even find their way to work because they don't even have office. They don't even have anything to start working. How do they even make a budget? Like he told you, it's, it's like a desert. So they just have the title, but nothing's happening. So this government is probably going to start to accumulate massive salary arrears. It's my understanding. It's for two months already. They have to put the ball on the money. And they have critical things to be focusing on than, than, than dealing with noise, you know, all over the place. So thank you very much, Mr. Freeman. Uh, I'm, we're going to bring, welcome to the show, Uncle Sam. It's good to have you. Uh, let's jump into the, you. you uh, Bye -bye. When I'm going. Yeah, okay, so we got three bazooka. Uh, uh, in this group, it looked like I have to step aside. Yeah, <laughs> like I gotta step aside. I don't know what kind of salary the, the, the man just jealous of us, <laughs> Simeon. The man jealous. <laughs> but, well, he uh, brought Basa people on, that's so that's good. That's three Basa people <laughs> against British or one or six or, or, or stand on. But three Basa yeah, people. Look. But you know, I know how to check that thing. I also put you against each other. <laughs> but let, let me ask you a question, okay? You, and, and thank God to have you, though. That's the reason why we asked you to come on. Don't you think you are asking for a lot too soon? No, I'm not. Uh, look, uh, to, to, to issue a visa-free waiver, two things has to be established. One, how much money are we generating for? from the visa process. So a president can ask that question. I'm sure the LRA with a competent staff, they have lots of tenure employees that are there. They're more than capable of providing that information tomorrow morning. So the president, we, the option of, okay, look, if we're making uh, X amount of money annually or monthly from visa, visa, visa entry or the visa process, um, could we possibly, could we possibly waive it Nobody pays anything coming to Liberia. What's going to be the benefit to hotels, to restaurants? The, the return on investment is massive. When you hear Ghana made, I think, two or four billion dollars um, in 2020 from, from tourism, it's not money paying to government coffers. It's people coming to the country, staying in hotels, eating at restaurants, uh, going to touristic sites. They were able to weigh that and, and saw how much businesses made. When you, when you, it's just a pronouncement by the president, which does not require legislative. When it comes to the issue of interest rate, the president of Liberia can sit with the central bank and that issue will be resolved quickly. No, no, central no, no. bank Mr. governor, Mr. the president, Mr. they, they Mr. can, they can, they can, they can sit there. So when you say I'm asking for, for, for much, too much, I mean, too yeah. early, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. sorry to interrupt you, sir, but I want us to take it one at a time. When we put all these things in the basket, sometimes we miss the tangerine and we'll call it to be orange or something else. Let, let us try to separate the discussion tonight, Mr. Freeman. And I ask you, don't you think you are asking for too much too soon? Less than three months to go. Less than three months. Mr. Freeman, the president, Jose Yimabwaka, is still forming his government. Go back in history. How long it took Madam Sally to form her government? How long it took uh, President we are to form his government? You must have some incomplete spaces right there. But you are now saying, well, bring visa free. 
And calling all this other different stuff, you do not know the background conversation. That's what I'm asking you. Don't you think you are asking for too much too soon? What's your main argument, what, Mr. 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 Last Mr. second Mr. question. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Before we bring the yeah, go, go, ahead, ahead, sir. go ahead. No, go ahead. Who we'll wait? Go so ahead. You see, when you see when we when we when we do this to our country, then we're not helping. Um uh, ten years ago, possibly ten years ago, iPhone made iPhone, I think iPhone 10 or whatever. Today they're making iPhone 15. Every car produces a new brand. Liberia must also be a learning organization. Because Ellen Johnson said it possibly took six months to, to form a government. Because George Williams possibly took six months or eight months to form a government. George, I mean, a worker came to power with two teams at his, his at, I mean, at two teams that he trumpeted. One, I have 40 years experience in the public service. That's the first thing. The second thing is that I've come to rescue the country from the challenges. So what did he come to rescue with? With the same approach, the same challenges, and then we lean on it. So listen, let me give you an example. Is who you in America? This, this woman, Mary, she, I hope I got her name right. She became president, CEO of Ford, in the middle of a crisis appointed by the board to be CEO today, the next day she will be for the legislature defending for and having to deal with questions and how to turn it around. Look, we have to dance away from all of these excuses. Are we not asking to? Nobody begged old man Boyka to be president of Liberia. He should have left it with us anyway to have all the energy and ready for it. He should have left it with us to have the private no, 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 sector Mr. 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 that willing Mr. to keep the ground Mr. 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 Fremont, Mr. Fremont, I know we can do a lot of talking, but I, I beg you, we got to stick to this thing one step at a time for our audience to understand I'm and listening. understand your position I'm because listening. you are the guest. I'm but listening. again, I'm asking you. I'm, I'm asking you. You are telling librarians tonight in less than three months. The president should start talking about visa waiver. How long it how long it took the foreign minister to be confirmed? She only less than two months on that position. Probably, probably yeah, less than two months to be to be exact. She's now going all over, try to redefine liberal position within the region. She has not even gotten us out of the region yet. And once all of this thing comes to Sarah Bessler Yanti, and she can comprehend them all and go and brief the president on the visa, what were you talking about? But right now you are saying President Joseph Yiman Bwaka should do an executive order on visa waiver so, with the way so, that's so, 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 Mr. 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 Let's, 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 no, let's, let's put this. Then my last question oh. will bring in Glenny. Oh. But I really want you to tell oh. my viewers the main reason you are going after Jose Yiman Bwaka. Because I think, so, so, so I let me, no, let me, go ahead. As a friend, ahead. it's my brother to you. As a friend and brother to you, I really want to say to you that the people have not gotten that message yet. If a visa waiver will solve the librarian people problem with less than three months, less than three months into this government, Mr. Fremont, can we find then another conversation? So, Mr. Mr. Witherspoon? Yes, sir. You see, this is, this is some of the problem. You see, the problem is that you are so sympathetic to Mr. Boyka because you know everybody listened to the spoon show. You support the healing, you support senior women. So you want us now to also be sympathetic to the fact that we must give Mr. Boyka one year or five years to do what he's supposed to do. What is required for a visa waiver program? I just told you two things. One, you want to determine how much revenue is being generated from the process in the first place. And like I said, the only changes that have been made at the LRA is that you send a commissioner, a commissioner general. So the deputy, all of the other guys, the other directors and commissioners are already in place. They are tenure employees. Now, when you determine that, then you do an analysis, which is simple. The president can do it with his kitchen cabinet to determine how much you're going to be losing versus how much you're going to be getting, which can work, and that pronouncement can be made. But I told you already that there is history on our side, there is record. All of the countries that have visa program told their countries are successful. 
very small countries, Mauritius in Africa, Singapore, they all, I mean, not Singapore, uh, Seychelles, they all have this serious success with the economy because of that. So you don't require much. You see, when we begin to look at Liberia's problem within the land that doesn't exist, that's where the problem comes in. So we think that, oh, it's too early. So because it's John not, Brown took six not months, not so, not oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead. No, 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 wait a minute. You see, far from what you are saying, everywhere I have gone since that press conference, multiple journalists have discussed it. A lot of people are excited, and a lot of people say, yes, these are the bread and butter issues that Mr. Fragon told you. Why are we not heralding electricity? Why have we not tried to solve it? Why are we sitting back and heralding war crimes court? Because these are the issues that, that create bread and butter. Why have we not sat down and created certainty for metal steel? But the first thing we want to, we have time for, it is all of the issues that will, you well, know, are border on here. So, so coming home, coming home, so coming home, a president can only issue a mandate, a directive through the immigration bus, and trust me, we're going to have visa free will. Mr. Freeman, before Glenny come in, do you know when the immigration bus will confirm? Mr. Witherspoon, yes, sir. when the immigration bus was confirmed or not confirmed, does not shake the core of immigration. Outside of an immigration bus, you had people working at all of the border points for immigration. Do you, do so you it's know, a no, presidential no, no, pronouncement. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see, what you're trying to do is you're trying to lock it into issues that are irrelevant. That oh, there is no immigration bus, and because there is no immigration no, bus, you, you can't have a visa me. free waiver. No, no, no. It's a very no, no, weak no. argument. No, it's not, <laughs> Mr. Freeman. You going all over, making an argument. Some of your argument have substance, but I, I do believe that you're making a general argument and you're asking for too much too soon. When I hold you to the visa waiver, I beg you, Mr. Freeman. I really got to bring the others, but let me. Be the last on this one. When I hold you to the visa waiver, you talk about well, he can go to LRA. Well, he can talk to immigration. Steve Zacco was just appointed. He just got them confirmed a week ago. We know that. You don't know the conversation between Steve Zacco mm -hmm. or the Minister of Foreign Affairs. You are saying the president should do it and do it now because the president is talking about war and economic crime court. I'm saying you are not privileged to those conversations. You don't know anything you can tell that, bro, whether the president are not targeting those things. And you are coming out to say the president is rushing into all the bigger stuff and not dealing with the little mama and papa bread and butter the issue. That's what I said. I do believe. So, Mr. 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 Witherspoon, Mr. Witherspoon, I will put it back to you. I will put it back to you. Has the minister of justice been confirmed? You know he's confirmed. You know that. I'm asking you, has he been confirmed? Yes, he has been confirmed. He's has confirmed. the Minister of Defense been as the Minister of Defense you know, been confirmed? You have an acting Minister of Defense, sir. Good. So let's lean on your argument. If you have a justice minister that has just been confirmed, you don't have a defense minister in place. The you do issue have of security sector. Minister, or you have an acting but not a defense minister in place. But you want to talk about war and economic crime? Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, wait a minute! No, 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 I'm giving you. I'm, you cannot I'm, say because I'm creating acting. the basis. Oh no, 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 Mr. Freeman! You cannot say because she's okay. acting. She's not a defense minister. I'm Is taking. I'm idea? taking your argument. I'm taking your argument. Thank you. If you have, if you have a justice minister, when was that justice minister confirmed? I'm just, I'm just using your argument, and your wisdom, because I don't agree with it. But let me just use it for, for the purpose of showing you that it's going nowhere. When was the justice minister confirmed? I'm so sorry that you're not following the information of confirmation. No, I'm asking you. Me. I'm asking no, you. No, no, no. I'm asking you because you. Because the others, uh, the no, others no. have to come uh, on. So go okay, ahead, sir. okay, okay, good. So possibly you don't remember, don't know when the justice minister was confirmed. And I'm putting it to you that you don't need to confirm an immigration boss or to have confirmed a foreign minister for a visa waiver. A visa waiver is a presidential action that is implemented. 
the core of the Liberia Immigration Service is at work. You still have assistant commissioners, you still have directors that are working, you still have board of guys, they can implement a president's Mr. action. Mr. Freeman, Mr. Freeman, you're not so serious, you see, what, what, Mr. Freeman, wait, wait a minute, serious. wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Mr. Freeman, I beg to leave you, let go to Glenny. You will still have time No, wait a minute, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I will end this, I will end this point, I will end this point. So you see, when 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 you argue that, oh, you have to have the immigration boss in place, the foreign minister just came to power, and so the foreign minister has to do this, then you don't understand what goes into the decision making, and that's why I'm providing the education. So your perspective no, and, and, and about how government works. No, after after winning the election, he came to America for a little over three weeks. He didn't form a government. It was your argument. So I'm trying to now list out these things that these people were appointed, confirmed within a given period of time. I was going back to your argument, but let's bring in Glenny. Glenny, please talk to us. Uh, Mr. Freeman, how are you? I want to start first from the basis that Doing you, excellent. you mentioned about Sarah Loon. And you mentioned that after $300 million was spent for Sarah Loon's concerns with the, the War and Economic Crimes Code, only four or five people were arrested. I think your point is that they spent a lot of money and they only had a handful. Um, I am of the belief that Sarah Loon, because they did that, and it brought closure to the war that happened in their country. And so their country is able to move on. And so right now in Liberia, the popular discussion, the popular topic is almost out of every five Liberian, every four persons will say they want war and economic crime code. Why is it not a part? Why do you think it's not a priority now? I heard all the stuff you said, what Puerto should be concerned on, when you're looking at a populist decision, what people really want, why were you, one Liberian person, amongst probably ten th tens of thousands, say no, no war economic crime could now? Why? So, uh, Madam Jimio, thank you for the question. Uh, but your question is loaded with lots of lots of assumptions. One, that Sierra Leone arrested about four or five people, that Sierra Leone has closure. Sierra Leone had closure. I'm sure you didn't follow what's happening in Sierra Leone. They attempted coup, they bloodshed. In fact, the ex-president was taken out of the country. If that's what you call closure, then you probably need to go back to that side. Come to the issue of Liberia. Do we need a war in economic crime code to have closure? But let's 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 face it. Uh, the war in economic crime code is that what's going to be closure? And, and people people need to understand. All of these people, the, the people that are prosecuted in America for war crime, uh, do they have a war and economic crime code in America or they have a civil law system that takes people to court and they are prosecuted on the basis of evidence that's abused in court and the judge looks at it and the judge makes a decision. We have a civil law code here. I think civil law A, e, B, e, and C, I'm not sure. Stand to be correct about it. It's either A, e and B, e or A, e, B, and C. Then you have criminal code, I think A, e, B, and C, or whatever. And if somebody committed a crime, in this case, you're saying people kill people. If so what you do is you gather evidence and go to court. Do you need a specialized court for that process? I am not against it. I'm saying that do we need a specialized court to prosecute people that we say we have evidence of that committed crime? I'm saying no, you don't. Because all of these things serve as distraction. So if they are serving as distraction, then what needs to happen is that we need to be able to find a one, two, three million dollars if we're going to prosecute these people criminally. That's it. Be since the war in Liberia, lots of deaths are taking place. Those people that were found guilty were, or suspected to be guilty or were suspects were taken to court. Some of them were found guilty. You know, you had, let's take the, 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 some of them at one point were found guilty. Let's take the Judge Gloria Musu Scott case. It's currently ongoing. Let's take the Hans William case. I think it went on and another point that was a closure in terms of a non guilty verdict. So there have been many, many instances in which people have been taken to court. So this mindset that we need before people suspected of creating crimes in this country can be penalized, I say, that's a very weak argument. And I'm also saying, 
President Boyka can focus on quick bread and butter issues. He doesn't need to have an immigration boss in place to make a pronouncement. Because the act itself, if you say, look, we waive visa, come to Liberia, is going to generate lots and lots of money, it's going to create lots and lots of jobs. And I'm saying, in every respect, we are not, we are not focusing on the issues that matter, but focusing on the non-issues that bring absolutely nothing. Money, 300 million was spent in Sierra Leone. Is it going to take 300 million just to convict about three, four, five people? And, and then do and, they and, have closure? Sierra Leone has more problems now than we have. And that is my point to you is because you're making it seem like the fact that they were able to to get four or five people is it's significant. If you talk to the Sierra Leoneans, that was not insignificant for the country. Yes, there's still some form of unstabilization every now and then, but to some degree, as it relates to the war, people were punished. And so for that, I think they've gotten some form of closure. But I want to go back to, I want to also go back, because I don't think you answered my question correctly, because your opinion on what Boyka should prioritize it's not going to take precedent on what he wants and what he thinks Liberian people need. And the Liberian people want war and economic crimes code. And for you to think that you can compare Sierra Leone and Liberia to America and to court system for a country that had war, over 250,000 people died. What I'm hearing from you is the relatives of those 250,000 people need to take them, take each of those people that they found guilty or they have evidence on to court, which may not be fit for us that you are at war. But I'll leave that question. My follow-up to you, my second question is, I keep hearing you talking about energy, and you're relating energy to President Boyka. I'm pretty sure that Sam Jackson is older than all of us here. And I want to assume that Sam Jackson, the way he looks to us physically, may not detect to us what his energy level is. I want you to speak about why you constantly continue. You were a young man. You were running. You didn't go anywhere in the elections. Biker went. So why would you come now and want to speak to the Liberian people about, oh, Biker has no energy or low energy? What 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 fact, what, what point is that that you're trying to draw at when the Liberian people as a whole on a large scale said, whether he's old or not, we want him as president. So why why does energy matter? for you as a Liberian? Uh, again, ma Madam Genius, you're making another assumption about the Liberian people won a war council. No, no uh, uh, poll was conducted in Liberia to, 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 to indicate that majority of the Liberian people won a war council. I don't know what the basis of some of the assumptions you're making, but maybe- you so, I mean, there, the there's, there's also right now, you may not know, but there's uh, also right now where where what 300 and 300,000 Liberians have signed a petition for war and economic scram code. Even yesterday or so, sometimes so, on so, this so show, three, second, so, sometimes on this show, we asked if you were to even to do a sample of 10 people. All of those 10 people, at least eight of them will say they want that. So for those bases on based on people we've spoken to, we can clearly see that the Liberians, the, the popular the popular decision that is Liberians want that. So it's not an assumption of so, mine. So out I'm of go. So out of out of 5.2 million people, according to you. Everybody, hello everybody. Everybody on uh the internet isn't working, but I think this thing, I think the I think individuals should not be the one making the decision for Liberian people who have suffered in the hands of the war. Um, to, to lose 250 million people, 250,000 people, it's really no joke. It's a serious thing. And so if the popular decision in Liberia is that they want war and economic scramble, I think it's something that we need to consider and we need to continue to pursue it and not allow um, individuals to come and inject what they feel or what their personal biases may be. So. Uh, um, that's something that I'm in favor of war and economic crimes go because I feel to a high degree that it's going to bring closure to a lot of the family members who love their loved one. They may not be able to catch who, they may not be able to find, they their, their, their identify people who, some of the people who actually committed the crime, but for the most part, at least 
someone will be related to to the crime and then they will be able to be they will face uh, 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 um punishment for what they've done so i think right now liberians um if you're in favor when you have an opportunity to talk about it continue to make your desires and continue to make your your points known that um you want um the war economic crimes go i don't know where stanton is um hopefully they can they can come back to join us um i think the Sierra Leonean people also they've had some yeah yes they, they, you will always have a group of people who's not going to agree with some of the things that's happening but um you were still to a larger thing i think Sierra Leone having that war economic scram could have hurt have helped has helped the country a little bit um Baby T or Stanton, I don't know what's going on um, here. Um, if you all have questions, I can answer questions. I can look at the feed and answer questions until somebody else joins me. I am of the opinion that this would be the this is the right decision to make right now, and it it it's something that needs. To, and I don't think that people should also be subjecting their their their, their ideas on on or saying. Oh, President Boyka is doing this. No, we want him to do this other one. When a majority of the Liberian people continue to say that they want war and economic scram code, I don't understand why we still, some people, individual Liberians are coming on and still thinking that this is not a popular uh, um, um, position that they want. Let me see. Yeah. I'm waiting for Stanton. Um, all right. I don't know where Stanton is. Okay. I was the only one you muted. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Hello? You are on, I think it came from the, um, Mr. Frima holding, Mr. Frima. Dama. I don't know what Dama didn't see this. All right, Mr. Frima will be back. His internet is going in and out. Yeah. So, Mr. Jackson, have you spoken? No, I think I was still. No, I haven't spoken yet. yet. Especially yeah, welcome, welcome to the show, uh, Connor Gray. I, I'm kind of. I really hope Mr. Freeman can come back, because I'm kind of. I'm trying to figure out his position, Mr. Jackson. Conor yeah, he needs need to come back because uh, he just committed uh, perjury. Uh, he was pejorious when he said only four people benefited from the outcome in Sierra Leone. Uh, it's okay, not, so it's not informed on that issue. Let, let him come. Let me. Um, yeah, no, he will come back because that's the reason why when we listen to Mr. Fremont play regularly, we uh, I say, you know what? It would be good to bring him on this bigger stage, Mr. Mr. Jackson, and ask him this question. You know, you you want the government to do X, Y, and Z. Even Ms. I I I really don't think that Samuel Jackson, though you got your different opinion on the war and economic crime code, you would defend the the visa waiver. Visa waiver have security implications. Visa waiver is not only you waive your visa to gain financially. It's one of the components. But there's a lot of stuff when you start making these arguments that Bwaka must call on Sarah Bestoyanti, that Bwaka should go ahead and call on the LRA boss, Bwaka should call on immigration, Bwaka should make all these things his number one right now. Visa waiver. Summer Jackson, do you agree with him? No, not necessarily. I, I mean, I think I think he's making like this is that there's an overemphasis on visa waiver. But I agree with him on, I mean, the general thing about moving fast to overcome the challenges the country the country is facing. And I know you may disagree, and you say that you know um, it would give him some chance, give him some chance. I agree, but. Anything that you start, the foundation has to be strong. And the foundation that you guys are building with the Unity Party government doesn't appear to me, this is my personal opinion, that you're going to be able to overcome the serious challenges facing Liberia for the following reasons. Look, Liberia is in a doldrum. It's been a doldrum uh, for, I mean, since its inception, right? And every time a leader comes to power, there is no radical attempt to move things forward, to move from business as usual, right? Stanton, you cannot change Liberia 
with the personnel, with the policies, with the speed, and with the attitude that exists in the country today. There's no way. Mr. S Mr. Freeman mentioned a lot of things that are important for us to start to, to tackle. You, you talk about things, and, and he may not, I may not use the words that he used because I'm an economist. I mean, I'm the, the financial architecture of the country. You look at the, the capital cost, interest rate, 14%. Liberia does not have a sovereign credit rating, a sovereign credit rating where you can finance trade with off collateralizing letters of credit. Let me explain that to the ordinary people. To open up an LC to bring in goods into Liberia, you have to deposit the exact amount of the value of that good in the bank before they open up an LC to bring in goods. So what that means is that automatically it obstructs the ordinary Liberian market women in no, the other uh, young girls in are trying to do the import because you know the import trade 90% controlled by, by, by foreigners. That is a low hanging fruit. If you form trade associations, you build bundle warehouses like they do in Ghana, you tell the foreigners that no, they can't bring in salt anymore, they can't bring in pig food anymore, they can't bring in rice anymore, they can't bring in sugar anymore. And you gave these to the Liberian Trade Association within five years, you will create a, a, at least a thousand Liberian millionaires. A thousand Liberian millionaires. You can't go to the bank. And but Mr. Jaisi, Mr. Jaisi, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I want us to take Mr. Freeman by his own press conference, what he's been alluding to, his message. I'm not going to go to do what Nanny did. I said, well, the people rejected you. You didn't win an election. No, we all know the result. And the people went for Jose Yuma Buaka. But yet and still, Mr. Freeman was an opposition. He re remained an opposition. But let's talk about the issue. The issue here, Mr. Jackson, is that we are asking Mr. Freeman, let's go back to Glenny. Let you finish her question. Then we'll come to you. Then Conor Gray will come in. Because this is very important. I totally disagree with most of the things Mr. Freeman won now. I'm not saying they are not important. I'm saying he wanted now, the fierce urgency of now, that Boyka, the president, should work miracle overnight. And then we'll take Mr. Freeman back into the beautiful history of evening. The beautiful history of evening, and ask him whether he demanded the immediate I wanted now from Madame Salif or I wanted now from President We are With three months, less than three months, Mr. Freeman, one person of work out of work, a miracle. Talk to me, Glenny. Ask your second question. We'll bring in Mr. Freeman, then we'll go to Mr. Jackson. No, I think I had already asked him the question. I wanted him to speak a little bit about um, his comment about energy. Why? Why is he concerned about the fact that he noted that Boyka doesn't have the energy? What does that mean? Yeah, so um, you have spoken about majority of the Liberian people uh, i apologize i don't know what happened with this site and we all dropped off um you talked about three hundred thousand people signed a petition um and you call that overwhelming majority um again that three hundred thousand has not been rejected but out of 5.2 million people three hundred thousand doesn't seem to be is there any way you can face your uh, uh vo your, your volume is, your it, is it okay now is it it's okay? okay right there. Yes, it is. Thank you. So I'm saying um, she talked about 300,000 people signed a petition. I haven't seen that it hasn't been audited and, and or vetted. But even if it were true that 300,000 people signed a petition, that is not overwhelming in the least. Talking about the Liberian people rejected me. I, I don't think it, it, then you understand the dynamics of politics. No, they didn't reject me. They just made a choice at a particular point in time. And, and that choice could have actually been a mistake, which of course the people of Liberia are beginning to discover. Now, having said that, the core and cardinal issue in our country, I live in Liberia, I've been here. The core and cardinal issue in our country are basically education, health, this economy, jobs, um, and infrastructure. Um, the issue of war crimes court, like I said, I am not against the people that committed crimes being punished. I'm against the approach being suggested 
as a means of solving that problem. I'm saying that since the war in 1990, 1996, I'm saying lots of people have been killed in Liberia, whether by accident or by whatever means. And those people have been punished. We're not waiting for war on economic crimes code for the glorious car case. She's fighting her case. She may go free. She may not go free. Whatever it is, the, the facts will speak for themselves. But if we are able to take justice, Gloria Mususka, to court for a murder that was committed, why can't we take the other people to court under the same circumstances to the same courts? Why should we go to uh, uh, try to advocate and make it such a big issue of a war on economic crime code? That's what I'm saying. Let's go after these people. Now, having talked about energy, uh, we all know that. The truth of the matter is, Waka doesn't have the energy. You can see the disaster that's unfolding. So much disaster. You may not be here. You hear people say, oh, I, I, you know, I, I got this confirmation to be appointed here. My name got up and all kinds of sweet. It's been three months. The argument Mr. Witherspoon raised that, oh, uh, other people didn't do it much earlier. Why should we be rushing? So, yeah, okay, let's take Liberia back to 1847 then. Let's take it back to 1922. Let, let's just take it back. Let's, let's use the past as a measure of the future. Let's not look for any improvement. If somebody comes and says, look, I've come to rescue and I have the mandate, you spend three weeks after you were elected as president, why didn't you put a government in place within the period of three weeks? So this 100 days deliverable that he, the breaker, spoke about, at what point do we start measuring 100 days? One, one year from now or probably another eight months from now? 100 days is 100 days after you take office. Why is it happening in a white people country? And that's why you guys go there to find refuge. But in our own country, oh, let's, let's give them time. Oh, it's too early. I'm not one of those that set up for mediocrity. You know, for mediocrity. We can make improvements in our country and the bread and butter issues, we need to focus on them. We need to focus on those things. Our country, sadly to say, is dominated by foreign hands. Whether it's trading, whether it's the import trade, heavily dominated. I do business in Ghana. Guess what? I do business in Nigeria. Ghanaians have 70% of the economy. Do you know the market women that I try to give loan to? You know what they tell me? If you borrow $200,000, you have to pay 30%. I'm not going to speak in economic terms because I want people to understand these things. If you have to pay 30% and you borrow money and you have to start paying for next month, that's death. Even if you borrow U.S. dollar, that's 14%. Do we need 10 months to be able to resolve that? Simple questions, simple conversations with these institutions. The Central Bank of Liberia is as intact as can be. Discussions with them can lead to that. Let's go further. Even a money market, how do you raise capital? These are simple things that can be done. You can bring everything. You can bring everything. Let's take it. Listen, let's do it one at a time. Uh, Mr. Right. Mr. Mr. Witherspoon, if I'm if I'm confusing you, then don't interview me. I'm such an intellectual, no, 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 and I drive no, 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 these things. That's no, how I succeed. Not an intellectual, you say I'm, you say I'm, you say I'm blending everything. No, Mr. Fremont, they understand that this is not our first time having you. You are not confusing me. You will not confuse me. This is not about me understanding you. It's about the Liberian people understanding you. When we right. ask you one question on war crime, you go all around to bring the economy, to bring this one. No, then we are jumping from one portion of the conversation to another. I want us to take our time. You answered our question, then we come back. Then we'll give you a chance to bring in any other topic you'd like to bring on. Yeah, please, let's just do that. Glenn, if you know her question, send Mr. Jackson having technical issue. Let me bring in Conor Gray. Conor Gray, your two questions. You know, uh, Mr. Freeman, it was uh, it was Pajore for you to come here, and so only four people benefited from the Sierra Leone. I mean, uh, only four people were, you know, were punished, or the the entire outcome was based on four people. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a deliberate intent to mislead, just as you are misleading that Baka has been in office for three months. No, March 22nd will make him three months. And uh, if we're going to be discussing the issue, you claim to be an intellectual, you must be truthful. 
when you begin to sway the truth, then some of us uh, will tend to go outside the the norms. But let me let me say this: the entire Commodore, the gamut, was a large force, irregular force. They all were were disadvantaged from taking part in future politics in Sierra Leone. The entire uh, um, Fode Sankal group and a host of other politicians cannot participate in politics. That that don't sound like four people. When we, when we come on this scene, we have to be careful that history is not it's not only to your own advantage. And then you you skipped and said um, we should have um, and you know a, a moment where people come to like do a visa visa free or maybe they will enter um, our airspace or uh, airport and then be granted visa. There are a lot of um, countries that are benefiting from those kinds of opportunity based on their own tourism. We don't have those structure in place. So as you vacillating from one point to the other uh, without any substance, if I may. But let me, let me say this, um, President Buakai, can take as much as he wants to appoint those whom he feels will um, bring, will champion his, uh, his, uh, his presidency. We don't have to go by Simeon Freeman's perceptive schedule. You're not speaking, like, like I told the other guy yesterday, you're not speaking out of a scientific group that if you delay to, to appoint your your cabinet, that, that don't mean that you will not meet your 100-day uh, deliverable. Let's stop this kinds of, um, you know, showmanship and, you know, um, um, you know whatever you, we, may, we may want to term it. President Barker is moving according to how the resources are available to him. And I'm pretty sure by the time we get to March 22nd, three months, we have well over six months ahead of us, or maybe 60 days ahead of us, if you want to do one on a day, to begin to make uh, um, good on his um, proposal. He's already starting that. He's already starting that. So my question to you, my brother, what do you think right now President Buckeye should do to please you. <laughs> thank you, um, um, retired Connor Renning, Renning Gray. Um, thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's nice being on the platform with you. You know, I think the Spoon FM challenge is that um, it's difficult having been a mouthpiece of uh, the Unity Party and Buckeye uh, having promoted him. I, I think it was from a game. Speaking to the, can you speak into the microphone, please? No, I said, I said, I said, I said, um, you know, I understand the Spoon FM family problem. I'm um, having been a massive mouthpiece promoting President Buckeye. Uh, it's difficult at this stage not to be part of the failures that are so early reflected. <laughs> you know, um, you talked about the Sierra Union issue. I said about four to five people were jailed. So, so I spoke clear English. Maybe I need to speak something else. If, if, if you can go back over those data, and I also say I stand to be corrected, but let's check how many people were jailed that, that led to the closure of the program. But having said that, um, uh, President Boyka, Pre President Boyka, um doesn't need to run by mass schedule. Yes, true, he doesn't. I'm not the one who hired him, but I am part of the board that he has to account to. And in the structure of the board, you have people that are vocal, I ran for president. What I see and how I see it in my perspective has a lot of influence on the way people think. And that's why when I say what I say, it has caused a storm. And we're coming out with more information next week, Friday, in terms of what we have to say and what we say, and people see through them because people live here. Say what you may about George, we are, but there was constant electricity. Upon coming to power, you have not resolved that. So in every respect, it, it, it makes the people to say to you, wait a minute, you talking all of this, but hey, the heat is killing us, let like Mr. Fargon say, he had to spend his own money. Let me give you an example, at my own house, I was spending about $5,000 a month just on fuel oil. 
When electricity went out there, it cut my bill down to $1,000. So you see why people are querying this? It's affecting businesses. So small businesses that have frozen food issues, that's what they're talking about that. Now come home to President Boyka taking his time. Yeah, he can take his time. If he takes his time, the 100 days will start checking from the day he was installed as president. That's when you start checking the 100 days, D2, D3. And if you check that, we've got almost, I think, 50 days, half of that, and nothing has happened, government not formed, simple actions not taken. But strangely enough, we have had the time to elevate audits. We've had the time to elevate war crimes code. But we have not had the time to elevate economic issues. So you see I'm where sorry, we come from. We're coming from days. a point where... where um, it's now 50 days. The I stand to be corrected. January, That's the 22nd of January to the 22nd of, of February is one month. The 20th, right. That's uh, 30 days. That is one month. 30 so, days. So, from there so, to so, now, up to, it's about so, 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 how many days, sir? It's okay. 40 so, 40 days. days. Beautiful. So, 40 days, it means we're left with 60 days. Out of 40 days, government not yet formed. Out of 40 days, you see, our argument must be balanced. If at all, President Boyka was focused on forming his government and coming up with policy directives, uh, then we will understand and say, let's wait and see. But you cannot be elevating other issues and you leaving the bread and butter issues and you say, oh, let's give you time. If we must give you time, then don't talk about war crimes court that we really don't need because people can be penalized and taken to court outside of a war crimes court. The other thing is then don't elevate other issues when you have not solved the economic issue. So we are also just opposing and say, okay, look, if you're going to talk about this, then it's not difficult to talk about this one. These are the bread and butter issues. Liberia, one of the few countries in the sub-region that don't have a money market. Do you know what it is to raise money in this country? It's crazy. That's why foreigners dominate the economy. Do you know what it is to pay 14% interest rate? It's crazy. That's why for foreigners dominate. Do you know what it is to pay 30% interest rate? It's crazy. So we're saying, if you're not going to talk about that, then don't be making noise about all these different things and have your, your people going around here talking. What you need to focus on is capacitate your government, set up your organization, then let's have the conversation about governance. If you did not accomplish anything in 100 days, and then we can say, okay, in 100 days, he was forming his government. Fair enough. Let's go back to Madam Selim and Mr. Witherspoon said. Let's go back to Mr. Weir. If you want to go back to Mr. Weir and Mr. Selim, Mr. Weir, Madam Selim, did not come to power and say all of the people in the Judy Bryan arrangement, you know, in the past interim government, will go after them. We set a war crime court. In fact, she was more focused on forming her government and trying to tackle bread and butter issue. After that, they came out with this document called, I think, what, what the, what's the name of that document? Uh, something about, uh, 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 you know, some, some document that was the policy document of the government. We haven't seen President Boyka do that. Yeah, so we are saying, if, if you, yeah, I think something, something. So if, 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 if you're going to make the most noise about other issues, huh? Let him finish. Then you can always say forward to the strategy, PRS. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Gray. Thank you so much, Conor Gray, for the correction. Poverty reduction strategy. So you see, it seemed to have been more organized, even in the We Are government. He came to power and he was more concerned about developing his so called pro pro documentation. So you see, we had a policy measure to look at. You have not formed your government, but you have time to be discussing other issues. So the people of Liberia. You know, we are saying, look, Mr. President, uh, focus you. on the bread and butter issues yeah. that are important. So, That's where we are. Let me remind you a little bit. And, and Mr. Freeman, you're going anywhere. We, yeah, we, was, we will get to the bottom of this. Mr. Freeman, let me remind you a little bit. So go ahead, Colonel Gray. Ask a second question. It took me so we are almost a year to come up with this purple agenda. Uh, we were here. We yelled at him all over the place. It was, it was uh, leading our country without a policy. Uh, and so we yelled at him, go back and look at history. Madam Selev did not just appoint her cabinet when she came into power because I was part of it. And uh, she was busy putting technocrats in place.
And that's how she came up with um, some of these international modules, you know, to bring in um, what, what, what we call transfer of knowledge. So everybody may not have the same approach. Mr. Uh, um, President Bokai is proceeding based on what he inherited, he inherited a mess, almost nothingness. Nothing is available. So he's trying to build from there. Now, you're not expecting to just grab people from everywhere. He's looking for experts, policy experts, people, technocrats who can do the job. So I think he's proceeding. We were on, on on Spoon the other day. He appointed one of our own from this, from this. Way. So he's he's looking at, among scarcity. Well, I won't be surprised if he appoints everybody from Spoon. Maybe he will make Mr. Witherspoon the biggest rice importer. I don't know. Maybe he will give Ms. Genius uh, maybe your deputy yeah, commerce no, ministerial no, portfolio. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe he could have made Mr. Gray, Mr. Gray, maybe uh, the deputy director of the cabinet because he's created that position. Who knows? And then there would be no more spoon. At least the government is working. At least they're working. And then Mr. Yeah. Mr. Witherspoon, just sell, sell spoon to me when you're ready to go and take up your job in government. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, but German, on a, on a, on a, on a more serious note, German, you see, whether you no, support a worker or not, whether you support Please, go ahead, go ahead, question. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, Mr. Freeman, Mr. Freeman, you talk about the war crimes code. You know, at some point I heard you were, you were naming cabinet uh, appointees, uh, appointments that have not been made that are so crucial to national security, you having um, a war crimes code on the ground. Firstly, war crimes court, it, it took Madam Salif, government alone, to chase Mr. Freeman out of Liberia. Imagine if you're going after a warlord. The basis does not have to be in Liberia. The court can sit anywhere to prosecute those who have done harm to our country. So my question to you, you're talking about they, they took people to court based on other circumstances. My question to you, do you think we have the security, the security right now to hold a court in Liberia as opposed to in Ghana? Do you think we have that, that so, security? So, on the, on the so, right? so, you know, um, and, and it's good that you're a retired Conan. Uh, you understand security profiles, but let me just give some security profiles that people may not be considering. When you drive down Coconut Plantation, that's a place I went. Uh, I visited that place a few times. They have thousands and thousands of ex-combatants out there, just down Coconut Plantation. You go into PHP, there are thousands and thousands of them. Even if you were to establish a war crimes court in Switzerland, it's about you have to take the people from here. It is it, 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 clearly not the time to have that discussion. I will think, and I keep saying to you, the issue of war crimes court, I am not saying people should not be punished. I'm not saying people should not be penalized. I'm of the opinion, should we wait for a war crimes court to, to take Madame Gloria Scott to court for the the alleged uh, uh, murder of, 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 of this child I was staying with her. Should we have waited for a war crimes court to go after uh, what's the guy's name, uh, Hans William and his wife? No. You know, should we wait for war crime court uh, why, before we go why? after why? people? No. These crimes for war crime. I'm kind of surprised. Huh? Yeah, kind of hold on, Benny, 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 hold on. Benny, hold on. Mr. Freeman, I'm kind of surprised at your comparison. Why would you compare? Gloria Muslim Scott case with a war crime court case. And you ask such a question whether we should wait for war crime court before we take Gloria Muslim Scott to court. It's good. different. Mr. So, 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 here, thing. in the case of war crimes, this war law oppressing kill people. In the, in the end, it's about death that was caused life that was taken by somebody that did not grant it, that had no right to take it. Our courts, the courts in Liberia have the power and authority and the trained lawyers that can go to court for such cases. That's why in America, that's why in Europe, they didn't set up a specialized court to punish people. If you're in America today and they find out Mr. Stanton with us was engaged in war crimes in his country, they take him to court immediately. 
and it will take you to a district court right within your county and have you furnished no, 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 you and if you no, took no, an appeal. No, I'm not. Let me let me let me let me give you see I gave the example. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. So so I'm saying to you, I'm I'm saying to you before you still speaking, I'm asking you a question. War crime court is different from the allegation or the crime folks are saying that were committed, right? Recently, after the war, right? Crime of Gloria Bosonska, because now they say they found her guilty, or uh, other individuals that you are talking about, those crimes were never committed on a war. So why would you go over to Gloria Bosonska and ask a question that have nothing, no relevant to war well, So, So Mr. Mr. Witherspoon, the only, the only difference is you call it war crimes. So in the case of Madam Scott, it's a crime. So the only difference is war crime because it occurred during war. The other crime is a crime because it occurred during a civil period where there was no war. So no, if, if I as an, an individual, wait, no, listen, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, you were coming. Let me stop from a minute, guys. Let's calm down. So, 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 so the time, so the time of occurrence is the issue apart. I'm saying to you. Everywhere in the world, in the Western world, where perpetrators have been punished, no specialized court was established. In the case of Liberia, that shouldn't be different. I'm saying the government of Liberia, I'm saying, I'm saying the government of Liberia, I'm saying the government of Liberia can mobilize the resources that it needs to mobilize in consultation with international partners. Those individuals, assumed to be suspect can a, a, an entire profile can be developed where a witness protection program can be structured and they can be prosecuted in now war courts that's what i'm saying there is no point raising the dust time doesn't mean we have to set up a specialized court for that which has not been the case in the west that's my point uh, okay, so Colonel Gray, Colonel Gray, Colonel Gray, let's do it one at a time. Becky, exercise some patience here, please. We shouldn't interrupt him. We have a good conversation when we speak one at a time. So you go ahead. So, so right. you talk about the West. We're not talking about the West. A specialized court was held in, in, um, a, a, on Sierra Leone elsewhere. A specialized court was held on Rwanda elsewhere a specialized court was held on congo elsewhere do you know why those courts were held away from the country in which the crimes occurred it was because of security and my brother what i can tell you forget about the west beside nuremberg that was held outside of germany itself there is no western conflict that has elevated to the to the proportion of what occurred in Liberia, Sierra Leone, uh, and other parts of, within our region. So therefore, for security, it's different if you're going to go get one of those warlords to try them locally, it's quite different. For security, they, they, they could not take Charles State or the Sierra Leone. They charged him. They took him to the Netherlands. That, is, that, is, that was the ground set up for that. So, my brother, between you and myself, you know definitely what you're speaking. That's why you're speaking about individual criminal cases that are outside of war crimes and war trial and tribunal. So let's not let's not try to deceive the, the, the public because we have you know the, the ability to speak. I think we have to be able to look at the gravity of individuals who led people to commit mayhem. They are not just ordinary Mr. Freeman and myself. Madam Seliff can chase her out of Liberia, but Madam Seliff could not have chased Mr. Prince Johnson out of Liberia easily because it's a different individual, even though he's an actor like yourself, but it's a different actor. So I don't have a question, I just have that comment. I will I'll let um, Okay, so I will just I will just I will just come back, I will just come back to that comment. You know, Mr. Gray, the quotes that you mentioned, whether uh, Rwanda 
whether uh, Arusha, wherever else that you mentioned, Surly, those were quotes that were externally funded. And the dictates of the establishment, the people being pursued, was determined by the external forces that did that. Now, in the case of the West, they are funding it, and so they submit the judicial system. I mean, they submit is subjected to the judicial infrastructure. I'm saying we can go after whoever it is here that has been suspected of committing crime, and those people can be brought to box. When you make it such an issue that, oh, this person committed war crimes, let me give you an example. The former minister of defense, even though not for war crimes, the former defense minister was taken to court and he was found guilty. He went to the Supreme Court. He was found guilty. Hey, there was no crisis here. You know, sometimes these imagined prescriptions and perceptions that people build up that if you go after this person, this is that, you can't be bigger than the government. If the government is right, determined that it has been able to mobilize the weight of evidence and it can be subjected to court, the government will provide the kind of security. Now, let's even take the reasoning that you're providing. That, oh, okay, you can't go after this person because it's difficult to try to get them. What makes you think you will be able to arrest those people? Let's take one person, for example, that has been the most outspoken person. Let's say Prince Johnson decides to play the Roosevelt uh, uh, Johnson card. Nin uh, 1996, April, April, I think, when Charles Taylor went after Roosevelt Johnson on Camp Johnson Road. He, he was holed up in the city on Camp Johnson Road. He didn't leave. What makes you think Prince Johnson can't go and sit in Nima County and say, I'm not leaving? So if, if that's the security implication you're looking at, then to be able to extract him from Liberia could be problematic. So if, if, that's the, if that's the consideration, then let it go. Because if the consideration is it must be held elsewhere because of the security implication, then yes, there is still a security implication if you have to do extraction. So under the circumstance, if you pursue this matter criminally, where this person doesn't feel there is a whole host of international elements coming after him and her, then the person knows that, look, I have to mobilize my pieces of evidence to show that, look, I am not as guilty as claimed. And, 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 and that's precisely the way I see it. I think the government can develop the infrastructure that it needs to develop to go after these people that in many respects it suspects have committed a crime. And I, I repeat, I'm not against it, but I'm also saying for the record, coming to power less than 50 days into your administration, if that is a priority agenda and that does not, that does not deal with bread and butter issue, then the government is definitely mistaken and it has to change its focus. Mr. Jackson? Oh, you want to should I just Fatima, introduce welcome, myself? Welcome, Fatima. Let, let Fatima um, introduce herself and go ahead. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, to the panelists. Fatima Namatamo. Namatamo. And to all of the viewers uh, okay. around the world. Yeah. Uh, it's, I'm it's just uh, here to say. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, just to say hi to everyone. Um. And, you know, I was just briefly, I'm on a well today, and I was briefly listening to the conversation that you guys were having, and I was taken aback a little bit when I heard Mr. Freeman saying that the government is taking its own, you know, little time to form, uh, and the president is making these decisions that he don't believe that is the right decision. I mean, my thing is, who is he to say that? The, gov the president has the right to do whatever he wants to do at this time to make sure that he puts people in the will of power that he's confident, you know, he has confidence in, people he thinks will do the job. And if he decides that in his campaign promise, he made a promise that he was going to make sure that war crimes court was going to be something that he was going to bring to bear. And he is making good to that promise. And I'm just saying, who are we to question? The president, you are not the president. He is the president. He could say what he wants to do. He has a hundred days, and guess what? If he doesn't fulfill it in his hundred days, we give him time to fill fulfill it in the next hundred days. 
We are patient. Our country has been dragged down such terrible roads that we are patient enough to wait for the president to do as he pleases. The Liberian people are just pleased to have no one stepping on their necks. You could be a CEO, but you're not president of the Republic of Liberia. We're talking about the president of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph Nimabwaka, and he has the right to put in place who he wants to put in place, when he wants to put in place, and, and we, we will give him the time and the opportunity to do so, okay? Until that 100 days passes, and then you can bad mouth him. Because all of this, I'm sorry to say, Mr. Simon, I see why they did not elect you. Because all of these things that you're saying, it sounds like you're bitter. I mean, be objective. Give the president some time, you know, give him his full 100 days for him to do what he says he's going to do. And if he doesn't do it, Liberians are patient. We will wait. We will wait for him because we know that we are in we are in the hands of a good leader who means well, who has been able to differentiate what is his and what is for the Liberian people. And if it takes him some time, so be it. So that's what I wanted to say. I was just laying here. Thank and you. And, and, and thank you, thank you, Madam Uh Thank you, Madam Solif. Um, it was nice listening to you, and I wish you a real speedy recovery. Uh, what's wrong with you? None of your business. Why? Why? Oh, no, I'm not just sure. asking. I'm just concerned. I'm not oh, sure. okay, okay. So it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I was just, I was just concerned. So I just wish you speedy recovery. Um, uh, but let me just go. Let me go straight to the issue you raised. Um, when you say um, Mr. Boyka has the right to take his time to form the government, um, maybe you need to read a little bit on the role and duty of the president of Liberia. He's responsible to the people of Liberia. Sure, I do not. And need to read in the political. No, no, in no. The, let me, in let the me check can you, right there. Will you, will you give me time? Yeah, will you give me time? Will you, you give me time, to talk, or are you gonna, are we gonna fight? You've been talking over so, and over so, so, else, so, 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 so you made your comment. You made your comment. You made your comment. You made your comment, and 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 you will give. You made your comment, and I think I think you will you will give me the time to talk, right? Liberia, when he's elected into the presidency, he does have most of the HRs that are leading or holding on to the, 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 the wheel of power until he makes the, 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 the appointments of those who will come to each a, 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 a governmental agency to rule. So what is his issue? His government is forming, thinks the wheel of power is moving. You are not to judge. That's what I'm saying. You are not. So can I... Can I? So, are you gonna be patient now and listen? Now that I was patient to listen. Good. So, like I said, you you clearly have very limited understanding of the governance structure of the Republic of Liberia, and I will encourage you, you to read the Constitution a lot more. The President of Liberia. The President of Liberia. Well, this is rudeness. If um, is. Can we can we have some order? So, so who, 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 who has to have order now? Every time I come to speak, the lady interrupts. So if you don't want me to be a guest on the show, let me know, then I, then I can let go because I am coming in to talk and she's disrupting. So... Alright. Uh, so, are we are we are we going to are, are we going to give me an opportunity to express myself? Yeah, but I will. Hope, I will I so, 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 in the same vein, listen. In the same vein, in the same vein, when Miss Shirley say, "Who am I? Who am I?" So you know, when when she uses such derogatory statements, say, "Who am I to question Boyka?" That's insulting. But you don't you don't find a problem with that because apparently this is a Boyka media. If you want to celebrate Boyka, look, I get off this show. Is your airtime? You can celebrate Boyka when she's derogatory and you don't say anything about that. I'm not going to accept that. I'm telling her she probably had limited understanding of the Constitution. There is nothing insulting, and I'm not going to expose myself today. If you're not going to let me talk, look, I leave your platform. It's your platform. You can do whatever you want with it. Calm down. You are, you have you have the podium. You have the podium. Thank you. Calm down. So, like I was saying, look, 
you probably have a very limited understanding of the constitution. The constitution of Liberia, Joseph Boyka is not CEO of his private company. He's president of the Republic of Liberia. He's a public figure. Whatever he does, he does for the good of the people of Liberia. And within a political structure, you have political parties and political party leaders. The leaders of those parties have followers and they speak for their followers and they listen to people and what people think and say, they also repeat and they also have opinion. So Berka is not in his own fifth dumb where he can take his time to do whatever he wants. He can do that in his private company, but he cannot do that in the presidency. We have the right to query him. We have the right to speak and to say certain things aren't proceeding properly. That's the way democracy works. That's how it also works in America, where when President Biden does something, the Trump people speak. Where President Biden just spoke and the, and, and the Republican Party feels that that speech was rude, it was combative, it was divisive. That's their opinion. So they speak. So that's how the democratic process works. So in our case, we have said President Biden has performed miserably, taking at least 40 days, the government is incomplete, and the priorities that we've heard President Boyka escalate and elevate, one, war crimes court, issues or others, that's going to take time. We are saying, President Boyka, as president of Liberia, he's president of five point something million people. At this time, the people have the right to question the things he's doing. And so far, we are unimpressed. If Spoon is impressed, excellent. That's Spoon's business. Other radio stations are not impressed. Other TV stations are not impressed. Lots of people are not impressed. And most probably that's the same kind of expression Mr. Fagon, who is an appointee of, of President Boyka, was trying to say, hey, this place is so hot, you know, and I have to spend my own money. That's the kind of query people are having. So imagine you have a, a small frozen food business where you depend on an LEC and, and you have to, you are depending on that LEC you bought your frozen food. Today, your business is all damaged. It just imagine the situation where LEC comes and comes with so much hard voltage, lots of properties are being burned. Those are not things you probably be aware of and people say these should be your priority issues then you guys say no 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 he has the time he can do whatever he wants we are saying no this is not his okay. fandom we will listen to what president Berker has to say we will respect him as the president of liberia but we will hold his feet to the fire for performance those are the things i wanted to say mr. thank you so much uh miss sally mr freeman I think even President Barker would appreciate uh, constructive criticism. I think even President Barker celebrated anyone Liberian to tell him, Mr. President, uh, we need to do X, Y, and Z. Your suggestions are always welcome. You're, you're a very open speaker, you know, and you, you become my friend because at some point you, you want to fight the system for a better change. But I think I can say this to you today as a friend and brother. I think that, again, you are asking for too much too soon. We, we, we wanted to see this strength when President George Manawea took over. You never spoke like you are speaking today. The issue remains. Everything you say to me is good for Liberia. But there's time and season for everything. With less than three months to go, like we saw the one day trip to Ivory Coast when we beat, when I, you say, I would not criticize President Mbwaka, but as one of his biggest supporters, I also at some point turned out to be his biggest critic. But I did it positively. You talk about the LDC. President Mbwaka was just in Ivory Coast, understanding the CLSNG. Your government, the George Ware government, your president, your finance minister at the time that you couldn't criticize, lied to the Liberian people that they were supplying electricity to Ivory Coast. Your finance minister at the time celebrated on the campaign trail with the president, Monica Tan. And bringing all this thing up to you, Mr. Freeman, for six years, you're telling Liberians tonight, on a George Manor where you had the best electricity ever. You know, I still respect you. And we still have that friendship. 
but I think you are in error, sir. All of George Manor, we are. Mr. 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 No, no, oh, no sorry, I thought you were finished. I apologize. Hey, 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 I, apologize. Know, I, like our, I like our conversation. You know, I don't know, George Banner, we are. You, you, you said you used to walk out during the summertime, and, you know, because air conditioning was all over. That's not true. That was never true. Honor Madak Salif, the compact, the one children that got that sport. Led us to everything today. We argue with our president. Why are you keeping money Katan? Today we are still arguing with our president. He went to Ivory Coast to see for himself. Not just what money Katan tell him. But you said now, 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 now. Solve LDC problem now. Though he's talking about what an economic crime court. But yet and still, he's in Ivory Coast understanding the LDC issue. The 13 million dollars that your government left for him, the one you couldn't speak on, he began to negotiate. So let's tell the Liberian people that wish is right. I really appreciate you every day we talk, but I think you are in so many errors today. The government can chew gum and walk the same time, like so many people been saying. Jose Yuma Buarca, Minister of Justice, my own papa, Councilor, uh, 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 he was confirmed. The immigration boss, former Senator Steve Zaku, was confirmed. The foreign minister, Sarah Bessler-Yenti, was confirmed. The acting defense minister is in place. And all this thing is taking shape. For this room to be built, it's not one day. It's not one month. Allow the 100 days to come. And then you can make this argument. But for now, I think you are asking for too much too soon, sir. I, I, I'm going to rest, and I, and I hope you can come in to to, to, to speak. But thank you, uh, Mr. 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 Witherspoon. Thank you for the uh, order. You listen to me. I listen to you. I think we should just do that, and we'll all be good. Having said that, you're making a lot of assumptions. I think you also forgot. You invited Mr. Sam Jackson and myself and the finance minister on your show. You forgot, and we were actually against him, asking him hard questions. You you forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually forgot that. Maybe you should go as look at some of your old tips. The George Weah government participated in that government. It was never my government. It was a government elected by the people. You are the same as Boyka. I've always been in the private sector. I've always been on the side of the people of Liberia. And I believe very soon, Simeon Freeman will have the opportunity to lead our country and move it in a far better direction than is ever noticed or has ever witnessed in our lifetime. Having said that, those assumptions that you make that we are, you know, it's my government are not true. And, and you are a good man. But you know, sometimes when people are so bent on supporting something, <laughs> they will go in the closet and find reasons and push it forward. So Mr. Witherspoon, for the record, you invited me in Sam Jackson. You invited me on your show many times. We really admire each other. And I spoke clearly about the WEA administration, so I was never for the WEA administration. I just thought to clarify that. And having said that, you know, the same I spoke about, Madam Sully, where actions were right, we commended, where actions were wrong, we condemned. George Weir, during his tenure, he did a lot of wrong things, but electricity was available during his tenure. Um, and I'm saying to you, I was spending $5,000 a month on fuel oil for my generators, two, 275 kVA machines. When we are extended electricity to our area, we had it almost 24 hours, and I was spending $1,000 a month on electricity. And this is a fact. A lot of people will tell you that. You know, that mindset that because it's George Weir, and because George Weir had lots of limitations, so anything he did that was wrong, we can't commend it, then, then, then we are not patriots. When it comes to Bweka, your plea is, look, give Bweka time. That's your plea, that things are coming together. I'm saying, you see, the people of Liberia are saying, we hear you. And what you say makes sense. But if you are pleading for time, then you cannot be making policy statements on certain fronts. If you have the time to make policy statements, then make policy statements on bread and butter issues that matter to us. And let me just put it this way. 
If Simeon Freeman were president of Liberia, I wouldn't fly to Africa. Do you know what it costs for the president to fly to Africa and back just to go and discuss uh, a $13 million liability? As president, I wouldn't do that. You know what I would do? I will sit on my revenue people and see how I can expand my revenue base. I beg to interrupt you. I have to correct you. It wasn't only going there to discuss $13 million issue, and you know that, Mr. Fremont. Now you put in politics. In what was he? he no, no, no. You will know better. I don't know. I'm not part of the government. Tell me, please. Mr. Fremont, <laughs> Mr. Fremont, you can read the executive mansion website, all the information I did. He went there on the working okay. place. He negotiated on so many things. But to correct you, it wasn't only to go and talk about $13 million. No. So we can go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, so, so he went there to talk on... At the expense of the Ivorian government, they sent uh, flight for him to go. At the expense of the uh, Ivorian government. Well, you know, one of those things. That's what we are used to see. Somebody sent flight for him. Ellen said the same thing. So be it. Whoever sent flight for whoever, whoever paid for the flight, that's not the issue for us. But you know, look, listen, some of us that understand the dynamics of governance and, and, and the private sector, why would a president take a trip to the Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire supplies us power. Cote d'Ivoire has probably about 29 million people stand to be corrected there about. They have the power issues in order. If I were President Boykan, I would focus more on trying to see how I can resolve my revenue issues, see how, how LEC can be overhauled. You know, as part of my press conference, what I said, I have a few friends that told me one year ago they've been trying to get an LEC meter. LEC goes into an area for them to get a meter is really difficult. And so it encourages power theft. The power is available, but you can't get a meter. One other friend that I know, you know, when the LEC meter comes, it comes with $15. The guy was willing to pay $300 on his meter. They delayed him until the $15 that was on the meter got exhausted. It took him another four days before he got before they could open his line for him to pay. They had to send technicians a whole lot of inconvenience. That's so why I was saying, look, some of the problem with power theft, LEC itself need to look inwardly and overhaul itself so that all of this power, some of the power theft issues can be isolated, isolated because the power meters are available. So as president of Liberia, those are some of the things I will freshly do. You know that thing where uh, a president comes to power, you go to visit this place, you go to visit that place. My problem is in Liberia. I will focus on the internal balance. You know, economists say, that means your domestic infrastructure. To overhaul it, to expand your tax base, to be able to get the outcome that you want. Because even if you went to Cote d'Ivoire, and Cote d'Ivoire spread that debt, the government of Liberia finds about 5 million MP or 3 million MP, they restore power. Is that going to resolve the issues that led to that problem in the first place? No, it's not going to lead. It's, 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 it's clearly not going to solve that. And these are some of the challenges we have. Right. We're using archaic methodology to solve modern day challenges at a time when there is AI. It's not going to work. Thank you. Mr. Freeman, as always. Mr. Jackson, you had a chance to speak to Mr. Freeman because you've been in and out. Yeah, well, I haven't had a chance to speak to Mr. Freeman. Uh, Let's go the ahead. Perennial presidential, the perennial presidential candidate. Mr. Freeman, do you have any interest in running for uh, the, the presidency in 2029? Definitely, I do. I will run for the presidency, uh, I've learned some lessons. Our approaches, we didn't reach out as much as we should have. We didn't set up the grassroots basis as we should have. We're doing a quite a lot now uh, behind the scenes, and I'm sure someone will hear about it. Someone will talk about it. We're working with a lot of school programs. We're going to be investing in laboratory, in schools. We're going to set up uh, university programs. We're going to set up a macro loan. There's a lot we're going to be doing, and those programs are rolling as I speak to you. We have the different groups that are going to the different schools, and a lot of things will happen, and we believe um, we will begin to see fruit in about uh, 24 months from now. Okay. So, um, I mean, I do agree with you that the Borka administration needs to move fast, but uh, one of the things I've learned is that... Uh, when people support a presidential candidate, they typically don't like to take good advice. And it's happening with Boyka, right. the assistant, and then 
they pontificate, they're giving excuses, what they would, you know, and six months up to a year from now, it will be the same thing. So I'm just basically waiting. I'm not going to say much anymore. I'm just going to let them believe Tonky Dory is fine. And that's that's the way it is. But I can tell you, uh, this might be just the last opportunity for people in my generation and the generation just in the back of me to see any meaningful change if both Joe Walker is not successful. So that's the reason why I wish him well. I would do nothing to honor my administration. I will hope that he will be very circumspect in moving uh, and move very cautiously on war crime and to move very cautiously on the asset recovery for the following reasons. The people who they're going to be prosecuted, these people are not just going to just lay down and roll over and play dead. They're going to be fighting back. And the people on the uh, asset recovery thing, they have lots, if they got access to how they have lots of money, so they'll fight. That is the reason right. why I stand, I was hoping that you all would start off with your best, but you put together right. a cockamimi list of people who did not get jobs and you put them on a list because you want to give them some stipend, some DSA. So you put Mr. Jackson having internet problems here, Pierce. I think he's on DSTV. Mr. Jackson is on DSTV. You know, DSTV. Yeah, I, so, I, I want to make one small correction. I, 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 I want Mr. Swimmer to reply to what I just said. <laughs> Somebody he's what? I didn't did, did get that. <laughs> DSTV. Uh, look. Oh, okay, but uh, go ahead, Conan Gray. You want it, to speak? <laughs> You know, the first time I heard Mr. Freeman uh, um, um, spoke was when he said there would be a Freeman Island. And he beautifully painted this uh, euphemism that there was going to be an island, just like how I think in Lagos people are building separate islands. And he, 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 uh, he termed it uh, Freeman Island, and he was going to be self-sufficient. Everything was going to be there. And then fast forward. He's, he gave a timeline. When you listen to him, he was so emphatic. And I was so impressed. I said, oh, my goodness. So we have people like Mr. Freeman. And then it's been probably almost almost a year. Something that was going to take a month, it was going to complete it. Uh, it's been a year, and nothing has done. But um, um, his own, his own um, relationship to history somehow is struggling, in my opinion. The same... Mr. Freeman, who said an attempt to arrest Mr. Johnson, Roosevelt Johnson, was what precipitated April 6th. We know how very, very uh, um, damaging April 6th was. And Mr. Taylor even attempted to do that, I think, September 18th, to repeat that action. And it brought the country next to nothing. It paralyzed the country. That's the same guy who is saying that, why can't you go after those people? You understand? Why not go after those people? Is that me? Why not go after those people, you understand, who would be taking part in war crimes code, economic crime code, why we can't do it in Liberia, given the security or given the history of what happened when that attempt was made? I was hoping I was going to make reference to that because you know that it's not just feasible for you to just go grab somebody, issue an arrest warrant. People who have had large following, military people, you just issue an arrest warrant for their commander. I, I would have thought that a uh, Simeon Freeman would have thought better than that. And and I'm troubling if you if you don't know the implication of people going after commanders. I, I'm, I'm troubling. I wonder your sense of security, how far it goes. And you also, I, go, I went back to listen to your earlier statement. You said only three or four people were convicted. That's what you said uh, in Sierra Leone. That is, that is so untrue. That's perjury, in my opinion. I'll let you make comment. <laughs> Well, um, you've spoken about the number of people that were indicted in several tonight, and you haven't called the number. So having passed that, 
let me go to the issue of the Roosevelt Johnson. Oh, it's like you asking me to you, name the six million can you, Jews. Can you, can you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you going to let me talk? Chance, they gave, they gave Mr. Freeman a chance to speak. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this, this Puerca factor, I hope Puerca gave you some good jobs because you guys are doing a good job, you know, defending his government. But having said that, I don't know I will interrupt you. I don't know I will interrupt you because no one is here. Hey, you know, seeking job from Mr. Black. Yeah, just here. Right. Right. So, but having said that, but but having said that, in passing, um, he talked about the Roosevelt Johnson matter. So that means he recognizes coming to power with seventeen thousand more votes. Whether you set up the court in in Luxembourg or Leicester or Switzerland, you have to extract these people. Like I said. So if Prince Johnson decides I will go and stay in Nimba, these guys from Grand Jida say, we'll go in Grand Jida. The people from Basel say, we'll go to Basel. Some of the guys from Monrovia say, we'll hold up on a few streets. What do you think is gonna happen with investment in this country? So you as a security person, now, you know, you, 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 you agree with me, but in the same vein, you, you come with an argument that, that runs counter to your own argument. So you do agree, and that's what I'm saying. When these things are conducted in a way that is uh, second spec, it, 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 it creates a sense of ease by the participants that are not being singled out and pursued. Having said that, you talk about the Freeman City. You have no idea what's happening at the Freeman City. You have no idea that machines have been brought in. And by the way, it's a hundred million investment. It's not money that's coming from government. Machines have been brought in. Land was procured. It's in Doazon. We bought that place with a rock query. And, and clearly, at this time, we started the process of trying to fill up some of those places. So, you know, uh, it's going to take time to build that particular place because all of the resources are not immediately available. Again, it's a private initiative. Um, even when Mr. Gray is building a house here, it takes him years. Uh, what's the other guy named Ikan was building, he's building a city in uh, Senegal, it's taking him years. Um, there, there are a lot of things that has to do with private capital being mobilized and the, and the area where you take in private capital. Maybe if I was doing this in Nigeria or Ghana or Kenya, maybe the, 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 the sources of private capital would have been different. But of course, when you have a boycott in power that all he wants to do is to make noise of a war crimes court, and the people understand these issues, then people hesitate to pump the money into certain kinds of investments. So I didn't have 100 million sitting down and I said, I'm gonna throw it away. But I was mobilizing money. Money has been mobilized, equipment are available and work is ongoing if that's what you needed to know. Just Thank cutting you. a long matter short, I want to, I want to, I want to reiterate. We won President Boyka to focus on the bread and butter issue. Same thing Mr. Jackson was saying. If you don't focus on the bread and butter issue, and the first thing you want to do is a strategy of making other people ugly in order for you to look good, it's not going to work. If we focus on the bread and butter, look, if, if, if President Boyka just worked with the central bank to reduce interest rate, like I'm saying, look, there will be so much noise around here, people like me will be clapping for him. There will be lots of, because these are economic issues, these are bread and butter issues. But when the first thing you want to do, you're fighting people that are not armless that are not brainless that have resources in a in a country like liberia where there's a lot of gullibility then the peace president boyka then become a security risk for our country and we're saying he needs to discontinue that path focus on completing his government focus on economic bread and butter issues that's what people are saying that's what our followers are saying the sooner that's done is good for us and 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 then lastly you know when people say hmm, Mr. Freeman, let, let's just go there for a second. Yeah, you know, go ahead. to take the truth. Yeah, we got a few more, a few more minutes with you because today is Saturday. <laughs> let, me, let, let, let me just hold go you there. Uh, January 2023, 2024, you're talking about bread and butter, the issue. The president appointed Bama Kamar. You went against the president. You spoke very strongly against that appointment. But so, Boston, I was saying, saying to you. Let, let me Boy, finish, go ahead. Sorry, I apologize. I apologize. No, I thought no, you were no, finished. No. I apologize. But, but you are speaking against the bread and butter issue when the president is bringing in a finance minister that will set the stage. Understand the finance minister is sitting on most of these SOE votes, 
right? Most of these other different boys, they are cheering it, they are into different stuff financially. You are you went totally against the appointment of Boma Kamara. So everything President Barack are going to do, you as an opposition candidate, you will always go against him. Everything. He's asking right now, right now, for audit on the central bank. I do believe you're against that request as well. This is a government. A government that can ask you, Mr. Freeman, to be part of. A government that can chew gum and walk at the same time. Commerce Minister Ami Muda came on the show and said we have negotiated the rest price drop to 1675. 2022, your president Josh uh, uh, Weah increased the rest price from 1350 to $17. Ami Muda and this government brought it down. So Liberians are confused, where are you? You will never praise Jose Yuma Buarca because you're opposition. We understand, no problem. You will never praise Jose Yuma Buarca. I, 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 really, I really believe he, he, he's not seeking your praises. He's just trying to do that which is right. So the war crime code, the economic crime code, I think it's the right step in the right direction. Now, can we brush it off? Can we straighten out the asset recovery? You, you know that, Mr. Freeman. A lot of folks. I will end on this, sir. The government okay, of Okay, so I, I, I have, I have nothing this, personal. I, I, I oh, sorry, this. sorry. I, I, I thought, go ahead. Sorry. You always on Spoon. So you cannot accuse Spoon of being buyers and only for just a human boy. During all your election time, you were on Spoon. You were coming frequently. You, you The program right now, we invite you. We didn't ask you to pay. This is the Liberian People Network. We don't ask people to pay. You come and you make your case. If we're owner for Jose Yvonne Barker, I wasn't going to invite you. I heard your press conference. But I want Liberians to hear you. And I want to beat you to your own argument that I think you are asking for too much too soon. Give Jose Yvonne Barker his 100 days and see exactly how they will perform. LDC, they are working on it. The rice price dropped by 25 cents. Is it better? No, it's not better. But we are getting there. Few price, they are getting there. Finance minister just got almost 40 or so something million loan. We understand. We are seeking the budget this week that is coming. Boma Kamara is trying. Your government, George Manor, we are requested two months salary. Your finance minister then, through this very CBL, took 83 million. Where is the Liberian people order 19 million? Can you go and argue with Talu Jr., the bank governor? Can you go argue with Samuel Twe to give you reason why he took more than that which was requested by George Manawea? Can you argue and bring results to the Liberian people? This is what the people did, man. But you're yet beating on Joseph Iman Buaka less than three months to work miracle. Even Peter that walked on water did not Jesus Christ the next day. Come on, guys. Uh, we we'll give you the time to close. All due respect, you stay my friend. Yes, sir, Freeman. I just want to give you some correction, right. some right. information that you requested. You said that right. you did not know how many you said uh, about the Sierra Leonean case. There were 72 cases that were investigated in Sierra Leone and 30 defendants in 33 cases, and 33 cases were convicted. So I just okay. want to give you that information. Thank you, Fatima. Mr. Freeman, right. we want to ask you to so, please speak as you do your closing because we're all trying to leave from here on time today. So right. it's all your so, uh, you raised so, you raised a few please, issues. Please, 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 I have, I have nothing please, personal. Please, I have nothing please, personal. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh. Please, let me please, please, speak. Please, please, let me please, ask please, you please, who please, took who took the case, the war crimes code situation from the lower house that now passed the lower house to the um um to the Senate. I want you in passing to to make that comment. Was it Joseph Boyka? So um, coming back to the issue, of our, when we sat on air, we have nothing personal against the gentleman. What we said was he was finance minister before, and we didn't see the changes that were made, and we we stand by that, and we say that a minister of finance. Anybody that is Minister of Finance must be able to 
Firstly, do some technological transformation of that ministry, and in many respects, work with the LRA to expand the revenue collection infrastructure. So it's not about being against its appointee. In the case of appointment, President Boyka has the right to appoint whoever he wants. He can go and appoint anybody he wants to do whatever job. We say, when you appoint the people, we provide in our perspective. And our perspective is that when he served as finance minister on a Madam Surly, the outcome that we saw was not impressive. So it's not about being against President Boyka. I understand where you come from. This network bash everybody else and promoted Boyka. Now Boyka is president. So this network is partisan. And everybody knows Spawn to be Unity Party uh, radio station, you know, along with ELBC. Uh, and that's the position you took. <laughs> having said that, <laughs> having said that, um, you also talk about, uh, I think, another appointment or so that President Boyka made. Uh, I mean, so you talk about the 50, 16, the 25 cents drop in rice price. Um, you know, when I hear these things, Mr. Witherspoon, I'll give you something quick on history. By 1970, now we're spending about $25 million on rice import in Liberia. By 1970, now. Today, we're spending almost $300 million on rice import. Population has grown. We have not solved that problem. So, in many respects, I think when the government takes some quick, drastic steps to begin to look at capacitation, to look at what resources are available externally to, 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 to either tackle rice as a product and create job in the process, I think we'll be going somewhere. But a 25 cents drop, even a 50 cents drop, is not going to save us from the external volatility. There's a lot of external volatility. Just the other day, India banned rice export. There is now a problem in the Red Sea. There's always going to be some kind of problem popping up somewhere, and it's going to affect our ability to survive as a nation. Because if, for example, rice cannot be imported to Liberia, that's going to be a problem. Where are you going to get the rice from? So in every respect, I think these guys are looking in the wrong direction. They're using an old methodology to solve a modern-day problem that's not going to work. And we just want to uh, close the question the gentleman asked. Um, um, Mr. Gray, what, what was that question? Well, you Mr. want Gray, me to comment on that in person? Mr. I think Gray, he, he, yeah, his statement was uh, the who 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 put forth the bill or resolution for the war crime court from the um, representative uh, branch to that the representative. The the well, from the probably he knows that. Prob probably he knows that he can he can basically share that information with the public. Our position clearly is that as president of Liberia. We need to focus on the bread and butter issues. And many times you've spoken, you say the people of Liberia, the only people that share that view is Spoon. And unfortunately, I will encourage you, Spoon, use your local radio stations and conduct a serious poll and see, you know, try to target about 300 people in different areas. Conduct a poll and hear the feedback. Boyka is not doing very well. Boyka was already not popular. Winning by 17,000 votes on a heavily contested election it, it, doesn't mean you have win, to overwhelm a mandate to lead. He didn't, he didn't win by 17,000 for Mr. Fremont. You know that. When the votes were finally tallied, it was it was just about well, it was about 25,000 were finally tallied to about 17. Let's say I stand to be corrected. Given that he won by 25,000 votes, given that, that he won by 29,000 votes, that is not an overwhelming mandate to leave. And if that's not an overwhelming mandate to leave, what you want to do is to focus on bread and butter issues first. Then you can start to elevate contentious I issues. But however, if, if the unity party, which is own network, feels that he's proceeding rightly, I respect that. But from a political standpoint, and us, <laughs> and and us, us from us from us from the us from the opposition, we strongly believe. They say if your Christmas will be good, you know from the eve. This eve is very horrible. The approaches that. And we're not getting there. And we think we encourage President Boyka to begin to have a dialogue. 
Let me open, give open the corridor for people for people to begin to suggest to him ways in which he can proceed so that he understands that he's proceeding wrongly. But this current approach that he's using is not going to work. And you know, the best people that can give you the best advice are those who don't, who have nothing to lose. Those who don't want to work under you or in your government. Everybody know I'm not looking for a job. So I'm going to look at a president and tell him like I did all other presidents before you are proceeding wrongly. So in every respect, the numbers that you provided about Tue and whoever else, Tue is your friend. In fact, you call him on this platform several. Call him again, invite him, have a, have, have a, an interview with him. But maybe this time he will be afraid to come because I think he also suspects that this is a United Party radio station. And I think we should just make this point FNELBC and we'll all be happy. It was very good talking to you guys. <laughs> and it's good your man Fargo is now at ELBC. So we can <laughs> network here bc you know as part of the extension we should be good to go uh madam Sully, it was nice talking to you mr green it's been a pleasure mr witherspoon thank you so much for the opportunity and have a good night sir have a good night sir it's so good to see you thank you all right well, you see let me say this for me for the great let me let me do this me i could never get angry you know we know mr freeman but if we, the issue with me he's at our position Yes, he remained our position. Everything Mr. Freeman saying, he know that he didn't say that to George Manawea. Mr. Freeman know exactly what's coming when you talk about DSTV. People <laughs> ask me, oh, stand to ask the question why his prices are so high. And other part of the world, they are very low. And Mr. Freeman want to talk about bread and butter issue? He doesn't even pay his workers on time. He doesn't let, pay let, me, let, me, let me go ahead. Yes, the result. Yes, to find out 100% from 5,890, all of 5,890 polling places. Total vote valid and invalid, 1,000, I mean 1 1.6 million, to that of 66.12%. Jose Yeman Barca took 814,481. Former President George Manawea took 793,914. Jose Yima Barga won 50.64% to that of George Manor. We have 49.36%, 1.28% different. That's the fact. Seriously speaking, nobody can beat this as an argument. So he has the constitutional mandate. He won the election. He won the election by 25,000 and change. Don't say 17,000. You know, uh, as mentor, the, that's, that, the mentality of the loser is that, oh, I didn't lose much. Uh, I, you, I lost yeah. that, oh, they, uh, oh, they met, they met, they met, they met, they didn't beat me by. Well, look at the boxing yeah. yesterday. <laughs> they knocked the man down, the man talking Tabata today. Oh, yeah. the man, the man, so, so bloody his nose and two eyes. The man beat you. He knocked you down. <laughs> but then let's go to Mr. Freeman. Yeah. Mr. Freeman said he will run against 20 now. I'm a loser. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm losing is losing. Mr. So Freeman is a this man. The Don't issue really is that one minute could agree. Yeah, we go. We're going to set a record straight. I know the president going to add on LDC. I know the president going to go ahead and fight this thing. Everything that people say, they add a name. Listen, they're building the cabinet. They're building the system. It will work. If Joseph Yuma Barca slipped, I will be the first to criticize him. And you guys know that. We beat on the president on LDC. Bread and butter the issue? They just put Burma Kamara there. You were mad. You said take him out. So there will be nothing President Barker would do to please Mr. Freeman. So let's just move on. I want to give this breaking news because on Monday, we'll be having the MD for the Liberal Water and Sewer Corporation, Mohammed Ali. Mo Ali will be our guest. He's coming back on Spoon Talk, but now he's coming in the capacity as an MD. Okay? He's coming back to talk about LWSC. A lot of stuff is happening. We're receiving information that some individual at Liberal Water and Sweat stole some money. Again, Mo Ali had to step in, suspend them, and they are undergoing investigation. A lot of money, almost 200,000 United States dollars. 200,000. Before Mo Ali put a foot in the door, they got to take the money. So what we can give you tonight, and we want you to please, please, please wait for Monday. 
Because when we heard the news a few days ago, I say I, uh, Mo Ali have to come for us to discuss this thing because I am not going to discuss this thing because that's the right thing to do. So let's talk about it briefly. Those guys then kind of gray. They went to ask for 30,000 gallon of fuel, 2023. 30,000 gallon of fuel. They gave them 159,000 United States dollars, the first amount. Guess what happened? Woo! No fuel, no money. This is bad. On, we talked about last year. We are talking about last year. 159,000 plus for 30,000 gallons of fuel. No here, no take. Nobody can sign. The person that says, the person said the first one signature. They say, Sano Enterprise. That's where they get a fuel from. They go and ask for the contract. No contract with Sano Enterprise. Oh man, Joe, we are garden we're enjoying, man. The garden went ahead. They took the money to get fuel. No fuel. No money. They took money for water treatment. What the, the treatment plant to go ahead and buy fuel for the generator over there. The last time they bought fuel was sent April 2022. Everything in 2023. That's why people wasn't getting the water. There was no drinking water going anywhere. They went back again and took another 9,000. They sent 2023. When they got their eyes, the money, the system money signed it, they go to Semitua Final Ministry. Guess what? Semitua gave it to them. Samora would have called it, gave it to them. There were no objection from the finance ministry, none whatsoever. A lot of bad, bad things happening. From 2018, when Joel took over, Joel had 196 employees at the Labra Water and Sewer Corporation. When Joel was leaving, guess how many employees? 669. Joel made 196 when he was leaving, 669. The day the medical Zwana said he was going to run for election, the day he announced on that same day, the man hired 125 people, 125. The same day the man get an announcement, the same day he hired 125. Now, guess what happened? I told Mo Ali, Mo Ali, you, the managing director, I beg you, you have to come and speak on this because you see what Simon Taylor doing now, Simon Freeman, he said, this is UP Network. He said, this is UP Network. Mo Ali walked into a death trap. We are talking about over 200,000, just 2023 alone. That these guys don't walk out wave. No fuel, no money, but it was signed, Glenny. It was taken out, and everybody had their own free ride. Why you think you don't want LDCC to come and investigate? Why you think we shouldn't have Counselor Edwin Martin, Asset Recovery? That only Labrador Water as well. We go anywhere here. But talk to me, guys. Let me hear you guys. I'm happy that more Ali will be coming on Monday. That place is bad. The guys don't have the money. All of things I cannot explain, but more we explain it because he's coming. He <laughs> has to explain it. But it's worse for Liberia. It's worse for our water system. Sure. People walking away with over 200,000 United States dollars lying on uh, a few uh, uh, gas station, and the gas station said, I lie, we see nothing. Two, three different times. Lenny. It's a criminal act. Criminals. 
I, I think it's a good thing that Mo is following up on this. Um, but I wanted to say something, um, <laughs> and I got a call, so I got distracted. I think people, uh, I don't know what's wrong with Liberians wanting jobs that people always think they can use it and make it seem like it's, you know, be condescending about it. Like everybody on this platform want a job. Or if you are a Liberian, you live outside of Liberia, you're not entitled to wanting a job in your country. I mean, whether people talk for Boyka or not, I'm not a UP partisan. Don't assume that everybody on here is from UP. You say, oh, all of you, I hope you will get this job. I hope you will get this job. That's not the point. If you're here to interact and, 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 and be an intellect as you claim, then allow other people to speak. And you speak also, but don't make it seem it's like that was his only defense. All of you all here want job. No, we don't want jobs. We are Liberians. And if we do want jobs, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> if you're qualified, you want to serve your country, that's good. And you know, it's like, I'm sure he has, I was in Liberia for all the wars. I don't have to come here and explain what I went through there. So make it seem like people who are also of Liberia, they're not, they, they're, they shouldn't deserve to be to one positions in their country. That, that, that's a bit condescending and you should leave that. But I think I like that more Ali, Ali is after those people. And if they're, if they are caught, if it's true and they are found guilty, they should be prosecuted. With all of the difficulties, even right now, they want to do that. It, it, it's just it's just so difficult for, for you to continue to hear about all the corrupt practices before and it's even continuing now. That's just that's just disheartening. So be good to talk to Mo and to, to find out. I think so far there's so many things he has uncovered. So be good to talk about it and see what he's doing about those people. But we're all Liberians. We all want best for Liberia. And and so wherever you are, whether you're in Timbuktu or wherever, if you if you feel the need to serve your country and there's a position there and you want to do it, go ahead. The more power to you. Go ahead and serve. Serve your country. It shouldn't be but, a it shouldn't be but, a bad but, thing. But Glendy, if I want to work in Liberia, a lot of Liberians will appreciate me being part of the government. Of course. A lot of Liberian. You understand that when we put our food down in Liberia today, part of fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so, we didn't do this because we didn't do this because of job. Oh. But I would say this. And everybody know that. If I want to work in the government, uh, by God's grace, uh, you know. You're gonna be among the first list. Well, that we didn't do it for job. We, we we did it for country. Some of us, and, you know. Once you are qualified, you can go and get it. And that's sure. why I just don't pay attention to those things. Uh, Fatima, let's do our closing. I'm happy. I can share the. I can share this. That Mo Ali will be our guest on Monday. Uh, there you have it. Uh, the Honorable Mohammed Ali, Managing Director, uh, Labro Water and Sword Corporation. Um, he will be our guest on Monday. Uh, he will be in studio or from home, but this is a bad time for our country that people walking away with money for the country, over 200,000 United States dollars, and these guys then get a mindset to go to work every morning and create we avenue to steal. This is happening at LPRC. Ain't no Amos Twain had to fire seven or eight of them and send them to the Liberal National Police for investigation. This is happening at places that we know. <coughs> I mean, what's going on? Fatima, Bintu, Salif. Yeah, um, CEO, I think sometimes uh, some of these leaders, um, you know, the former political leaders who ran for presidency, but, you know, they got love for the country, but they never made it. I think when they come here, they try to be condescending and rude to people. I mean, Mr. Freeman, I mean, he was just talking in a condescending manner. He can express himself. I mean, with all due respect, he has a right to say what he has to say. It's his opinion. Joseph Wakai, I think he's moving in the right direction. I think the things that he's putting in place, I mean, we would have wanted some things fast, you know, but it is what it is right now. But things are moving. People are happy about some of the decisions the president is making. We know the kind of country that we got. 
We know the kinds of things that were done. We're not going back, but you know what? Accountability. Let people hold the end of the bargain as to what they did, how they did it, and what, what was done. But for him to just come, the Liberian people come here every night on Spoon to be informed, to be educated, and to know about their country, especially those in the diaspora. They want to know the happenings in the, in the country. Like today, I went to the CVS to go get my medicine. There was a lady there, and she just saw me and said, oh, you fatty myself. I, saw, I think I announced my niece. The, the guy asked me, what's the last name? I said, Sir Lee. And he said, she said, oh, you fatty myself like that. She said, oh, my God, every day I come to Spoon to, to ensure that I get information. That's the only program we have. I honestly feel that Mr. 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 Freeman was a waste of the Liberian people time today. He was just condescending. He was rude. I don't know. No, 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 no. Just okay. Uh, let me okay, on. that's my let opinion. He said that yeah. to me too. No, 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 no. But let me move on. Yeah. Okay. I feel like he was condescending. And the second part of it is that um, if you're a guest on the show, you have the right to your opinion. You can say whatever you want to say, but within the limit. Okay, you know, we too we will respond if you come and start talking in a negative tone. Like I said, Liberian people look forward to us. They come here. They want us to express, you know, to be objective, to say some things. I'm not all, everything is happy. I'm not all happy. And they talk about, oh, you want a job. You want a job. And so what? I'm qualified if I want a job. If I want to serve my nation, I could. What? What's wrong with that? I put my sweat, my blood, my everything into it. If I want to serve, I could serve. You know? What's wrong with that? But every time they, they look at it, I don't want no job. For them. I understand that. But equal is so. I mean, if you come on a network to, to educate the Liberian people, tell them the truth, at least. Tell them the truth. I'm not a United Party partisan. Never was. I supported Joseph Nima Baka because I felt that he was right for the country in that particular moment, in that particular season. And I put my full weight behind him because I knew he would make the difference for all of us. And that's who I'm, I'm going to support. For Mo Ali, I just think Mo is doing the right thing in the right direction. Um, by the grace of God, um, he's going, going to hold that part of the arrest play, accountability. He's going to ensure that anyone, I think Liberians have been getting away with impunity. If people sit there and do things and they're recycled, they arrest them for drugs and they, people release them or something happens, nah. If people are help people do things, let them get up, let them, let them be arrested for the right thing. If they do it, they should face the full consequences of the law. That's the only way our country will move forward. That's the only way our country will progress. If we want, we should all be the example of the Liberia that we want to, to, to see in the future. We should all live in that example. We shouldn't be picking and choosing or saying, oh, this person is right, that person. Everybody should be treated as equal. If you do wrong, you should be dealt with. That's how I feel about it. And so uh, I, I just felt like I had to come on tonight because I was listening to Spoon. I was just hearing all the things that I didn't want to hear, honestly. I mean, it's good. I'm, I'm not saying don't say bad things about the president. You have a right to your opinion. But not everything in Liberia is bad. Just the fresh air that the people are breathing every day. Thank God for Dr. I mean, for, for Connor Gray and, 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 and uh, Glennie that were holding him accountable. It's wrong. Wrong is wrong. Thank you very Thank much, you. Fatima. Uh, Connor Gray. You know, maybe you need to remind Mr. Freeman that when you run for the presidency perennially, you're looking for government job. And all of those who <laughs> all of those who support all of the people who've been running perennially for, for the presidency, they're all looking for government job. How is it not a crime? Others must uh, must you know must be held accountable when they look, I mean must be held with different standards because they want job. It's the same thing. Uh, there's something I have to remind my people, look, if you supported somebody that were looking for the presidency, they were looking for a government job, period. Uh, and and it's funny. We said 300,000 people signed on uh, a petition for war crimes court. And then they went into uh, a lower, lower house that passed a bill. You understand? That does not mean it's, it's a Joseph Buckeye's idea that's why he said from day one if this is what the lebron for one we will give it to them now if you have a, a house of representative that represent the entire country passing a bill and then 300 plus thousand people signing a petition how can you now come and say that this is joseph buckeye's uh uh forte this is not joseph buckeye is only trying to trans transition the will of the people 
and and sometimes we we we're lost for words and so we find ways to you know to to to, to so our voices can be heard i think um, uh, mr freeman is just a loud guy and and truth so i mean everybody is a politician i give it to him and uh whenever i hear him talk he talk he talks with confidence like he was going to build that Freeman city in 100 days. And um, that's the same verbosity he carries on here. So, hey, people like those, are uh, they love to hear themselves. Their voices sounds like, um, I mean, their voices sound like, like melody to them and it's good, it's good. Uh, but I think uh, Mo Ali, on the issue of Mo Ali, too many things went on in our uh, in, uh, water and sewer. From the days of not to Jaffa, to today, and um, I hate to to talk about going beyond the six years, but from those days up to um, Duana Kamara, people must uh, Sam, is that the Samson Mosira guy? There's a Mosira guy that is there, who who probably uh, inherited after um, Duana left. Alfonso, I think Alfonso you're talking about. Alfonso who? Mosira? I think yeah, Alfonso uh, gay or something. Fonso yeah, but, went there? Yeah, I think so. But when I wait for Mo Ali, he will call all their names. Yeah. Because but, but, but I, know, I, know, I know he got a lot of money to retrieve from that, from that place. That's why the, the economic crimes part of this thing is so asset recovery is so much needed. Because, you know, some of those guys, they get some of those loot, those loots hanging around them. You know, the sooner we round them up, the better uh, we'll have money coming to our coffers. And uh, we're talking about repairing our electric grid or you know solving the electric crisis paying our bills uh, those people got money sitting somewhere some people really stole money my brother uh, and and we have to go after them and i pray that um every every sector will we, we, we go robustly like how moali is doing to find out exactly what what went wrong during the, the last six years so we know exactly what we're looking for when we're going we don't need an you know uh a, a forensic expert yeah it could help the process but the little one we can do let's do it you know we used to play hide and seek when we we're small <laughs> you don't need to determine how to find the person but uh, there are so many things that that can be you know uncovered if we if we if we we'll move on it real quick and and without waiting for to have you'll never have the right to do in place some people want the perfect day you know uh, it will never come let's work with what we show the high and see which one the INC you should play high and see catch and kill <laughs> well uh, you you and i like brother man you not you never used to play hide and see <laughs> but they got they got different kind of high and see. But uh, let me bring this to your attention. Uh, high and see, what eat what you catch. Yeah. <laughs> they say high and see, catch and clear. Catch and clear. <laughs> so, so that that what you know that you see, Glenny King, but we gotta watch him one year. That what they used to do in the unfinished homes, the unfinished houses. You go let there. Let me tell you. I am here. I am committed to the show, but I'm okay. also. There Checking on my son who is running right now in the championship game. So that's where okay. my focus is, but I'm also here. Okay. So I don't know about all of your that story. I know, but yeah, I was a home girl. Home girl. Look at Barlock. We can home see girl. it. Look at Barlock. But listen, Almost something came out, something came out today. Yes. Uh, this thing is very important. Uh, on Tuesday, I think the Supreme Court, Monday, they will be going uh, opening the Supreme Court. And I guess on Tuesday or so, at 1 p.m. or 12 noon, uh, they will be working on the Supreme Court, the Justice in Chamber, will be working on those attorney uh, complaints. Like you can see, this letter came from the Minister of State, the Minister himself, Sylvester Gracefield, saying that they say, you don't use no money, and, you know, and the people that it came out yesterday, they begin to question. There was a state order from the Supreme Court. But now they're saying that uh, Sylvester Grisby now telling them, say, you don't use any money till we go back to the Supreme Court. So therefore they were operating, you know. But this whole thing, I think Liberians been too impatient as if I, the whole thing will be resolved. It will come to an end this week. The Supreme Court will take the decision this week coming up 
by God's grace, on the 11th, the 12th, or the 13th, uh, to tell the people exactly what they are as a Supreme Court, because you know, Justice Minister Oswald now would be representing the government. Oswald All right. Twin. And so he would be there, and he would be making the case now as to what next, and the justice in Chamber, I think, is Yusuf Kabad. He will be making the decision. You understand, on the opening of the Supreme Court, there will be only three justices, right? The chief justice is out of the country. And uh, today, the body of the remain of Justice Joseph Nagwe uh, arrived in Liberia today. Uh, the body of the remain of Justice Joseph Nagwe arrived in Liberia today. So it's a lot on the plate of those justices that would be there, a lot. Just understand, everybody want a job. National Rural Fund, uh, Emma Glasgow to Fishery, the LTA, uh, NASCO, and, you know, Maritime, and all these, the Maritime part, the gentleman left, and all ladders and ID and all these different 23, 24 tenure position, people will be running to the Supreme Court. Like Wilson Tapper did, he ran back to the Supreme Court, and now they had a state ordered again. Uh, but we will have some understanding where the Supreme Court will be in making the decision. Don't forget, Mo Adi will be our guest on Monday by God's grace. Tomorrow, there will be God can bless anybody. Uh, everyone here willing to contribute, cash up ten five dollars to help people in Liberia. That's unique. Uh, we don't want the $2 from um, from Glennie. If that $2 she would give to contribute, we'll refuse it uh, vehemently because, I mean, you can't be working for $46 an hour and you can't bless somebody with two dollars Glenny is making 46 dollars an hour she doing eight hour shift but yet and still she won't give two dollars as a contribution god can bless anybody if she if glennie stay, if Glenny stay for overtime if glennie stay for overtime imagine glennie will be making uh overtime would be 60 63 63 dollars she will be making per hour so if she do an eight hour overtime i want us to count it i was trying to figure out what she told me how much she was making uh, I'm not kidding, so folks. So this flat, woman. So so I'm not. Listen, we all in America. We can figure it out. Sister, sis, sister, one dollars per hour times eight hours. Oh, that's four hundred. If Glenny, if Glenny work <laughs> one day, eight hours, she'll be making four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Look at one. you. are mute. You're mute. Yeah, Good. yeah. I thought, I, thought, I, thought I, I thought I was muting Glennie and I beat her myself. <laughs> one day, if she worked one day for eight hours, she would be making $488. Glennie get two days off. If Glennie take on Saturday and say, I'm going to do overtime, damn it, she would be making $488 just for that one Saturday. And because it is weekend, so they will give her double. That's how it work, because she's coming in weekend. So yeah, you just just take it as it is. She'll be making double, and Glennie will be making almost $700 an hour. This is America, no question, no question. This is exactly what people want you to be. They make money, uh, Glennie get nothing to talk about, you know. Uh, folks here, Conor Gray working for himself, he make money. He in the office all the time. Dr. Richardson been to a job for 27 years or so, I believe. She's on tenure. We asking President Barker whether he can relieve her of the tenure position. <laughs> uh, she making a lot of money. And all of that, Dr. Richardson see one, one, one client. One client. Nelson, we understand. What are 30 minutes or one hour that's 600 dollars? One client that's 600. Fatima working. She was employed by Joe Biden Group in Camden, New Jersey, and she got her own private duty job. Private duty. No, Fatima did anybody explain. for 30 minutes. One Fatima deal with student uh kids that on suicide watch. She Lady, I don't mind lying. Them. I'm gonna make as if I to speak. This guy Fatima, go to them to counsel them <laughs> to them say, don't kill yourself. If Fatima spent 30 minutes. With them, the hundred and eighty dollars. Yes, you started going to the mall. She would never say I'm lying. If she spent 30 minutes, the hundred and eighty dollars. She got so many clients, right? She see some of them. So you know if, 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 that chicken she gonna make it take. 
Very good question. If you're making hundred and eighty dollars for thirty minutes, that is not true. Nah, it's baby, eighty dollars an hour. You have one hundred and eighty dollars. You have the time to talk. Let me talk. You have the time to talk. <laughs> let, let me speak each other on the show, please. You have the time to talk. <laughs> if you're making hundred and thirty dollars an hour, not your regular eight hours paycheck, as it. You know you go do your stuff. You get your check direct deposit in your account. On a regular, because Fatima have two to three master degree, she was a nurse and she become a social worker. She got all the experience. She was top on a Camden County by the Joe Biden project, right? To go ahead and do certain project in Camden and Burlington County. You know, those are the two biggest county. No, Mercy County is, Burlington is the biggest county in New Jersey, okay? Uh, Mercer County come next, and then and yes, and Kim then come third. So oh, all Fatima will do. Fatima will work from home. Wow. She got a computer. She work from home. She making at least. Fatima get her sister. They call Mahawa. They get doing the same thing. All the people she, like this story, you know. She, it. Work, she making at least sixty four dollars an hour. Look at like a special program. Okay, <laughs> apart from what she make. So guys. As a vampire, he get three, four different companies. You know that. He, he doesn't want <laughs> any job in my bureau. I'm still digging behind as if I to see him. I really don't know, but I think he get three, four different companies. You know, he been around the black. But let me say this. Coming to me for two in by Florida now, people asking for money. Oh, <laughs> awesome. you, you, you I don't know what 80 I made 85 dollars. I know what 80 dollars. Wait, 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 so she and says, Ramadan, yes, I not But wait, wait, wait. Let's get it to you. I will give it to you. You will talk. Fatima says she's making 180. She's making 85. Right? Let's agree. She's making 85. So now you agree that she get her side job. Her own thing she's doing. That 85 is different from the Joe Biden job that she's doing. We're talking about. Am I correct, Fatima? Yeah, but the Joe Biden okay, hold, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on. You say, yeah. Hold on, let's take a step by step. I know how to get something on the so money. Mm -hmm. So Fatima get her regular 40 hours job mm -hmm. that she goes to the bank. She doesn't touch it because she doesn't need it. Now, now, so now why that. AB sending to Fatima? Why AB sending to Fatima every month for mm -hmm. support? Why AB all in the room with okay. 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 No, okay. no, 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 that's said it straight. People got to know. I'm, I'm, I'm establishing something here. I'm establishing something here. So when people come on the show and say, we want job, no. Fire the man, yo. When people come on the show and say Fatima want job, maybe Fatima just want to go help. This is Fatima that making money by sitting at home watching TV. I said, 180. What you she said, I said 180. She said 85. Sitting at home on Spoon Talk right now. Right now, Fatima working. Work. I don't right work now. on weekends. Right now, Fatima working on the weekend. Right now. Look at Dama. She said at home, she's working right now. Imagine for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, you make 85 dollars. How many 30 minutes in 24 hours? Dama. How many Fatima, all she need to do, just pick up the phone and call the client and say, you all right today, the lady will say, all right, all right. Don't for the four hours, she won't be 30 minutes yeah. week for the eight. No, for two hours. no. but yeah, it's it. All for Fatima the will do, and call the client. Damo. Who don't want to read? Who don't want to read? All see. Fatima will do, Fatima will call the client, That's you all right today, you all right today, then the client will say, all right, until Fatima, oh, you okay, you well outside today? Yeah, I went outside to the okay. Go back home. Yeah, your man there. Yeah, can I talk to your mom? She talked to the man. How did get this? Oh, she ate. Oh, she all right. Oh, okay. I see you tomorrow. Yeah, okay. That's it. Oh, easy. Any five hours. Easy. Then Fatima will go take her chat. They got a structure chat, right? Uh, medic client, uh, a medic client, this, that, 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 that. You know, but by next week, Saturday, I will tell you exactly how much I if I make. I will tell you exactly the kind of job he's doing. It's called progress <laughs> move. <laughs> progress move. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good show, man. It's a good Saturday show. 
No, so say you want to stay down, I will tell you, right? Gotcha. We just started a pepper bird area services. That's a drone company. Oh, Anything you want that a drone can do for you, whether it's land survey, land investment, in Liberia, oh, yes. in Liberia okay. surveillance, um, events, whatever. Mm. Huh? Where you? So we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do that for people because you know <clears throat> we're trying to reform the land sector. There's a lot of issues that are gonna be coming with land. And to the extent that we can help them, even the customary land, there will be issues when it comes to them dividing you, those lands. Sorry to interrupt you. The guy at the land center, the fire, the HR, the HR was engaged in corruption. Uh, we want to bring that story up on Monday. We got a whole wow. story problem over there. Yeah, at the land, the, the liberal land. Uh, something over there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I said, a lot of stuff are happening, but we'll get to it. So, but you know what? Get your thing ready. Let's know exactly. It's a good thing. I know who was doing this thing you're talking about, what, uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, what's his first name? Uh, oh. the former public, uh, public work, not public work, the former lands uh, minister. He, he, ECB, minister. ECB, ECB, ECB Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah he, he, was, he was the minister thought. proper. Yeah. But he, <coughs> we, we look different in terms of what we really do. So I, I don't want to. Draw the loudest. Yeah, you right 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 right. want to talk about it? Hey, you bring your folks and uh, you pay the money, then you can come and talk about it. Oh, we're going to know how much their money. Their money not Come on, history can tell you everything. What the money is? Come on, I want to bring my people. <laughs> I want to bring my people. 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 I to bring my people. I Yes, exactly. That's what you want to do. Then you gotta come back to here again. Why you move, Fatima? Why you move, Fatima? So that. <laughs> why I'm talking too much. So, so stand on, stand on that one. The other one is Lake Piso Solutions. That one is technology, project management, yes, business you. process reengineering. Yeah. Just about everything any government ministry need to help on the entire government Liberia. We can do it for you. You able to? You need to outsource to get things done. That what we are there for to help. All we want to do is for Liberia to be better. What so, you know, guys, if you got your team, I can promise you, let's let find a time to this. Family, because I like this program. Family, family, family. Get your team, bring them. Let's talk about your, you guys, your project you're doing. And, you know, uh, are they in Liberia, though? Yeah, people in Liberia and some people, yeah. Tell them to go to Madame Titi at the station and talk to Damo. Just talk to Damo. Damo right there. Okay. Uh, uh, and then Damo going to set the time where they will go in the studio and we'll have this conversation. First story, bring your people. <laughs> Second story, Madame Titi. Third story, you're not coming. <laughs> First story, bring your people. Second story, Madame Titi. Third story, flag. And, and one of one of our key foundation, and I think Stanton, this is something you support, is for Liberians to work together to do business. Look, we have talented Liberians, we have competent Liberians all around. Yes, most times government do not utilize those people, but they are there. They are in the diaspora. They are on the ground. So until we as Liberians can really come together and work together and benefit from our country, like we should, and be recognized as professionals that we are. We'll still be behind the development uh, uh, curve, but that just too. I would I will share some other one. There's the uh, my man who has Future Media Soft. He gave us a platform on Euphorium for us to build a virtual community for Liberians. The system is built. It's just about Liberian professionals coming for us to be over there to collaborate to get information. And the government won't say, "Oh, who are the engineers over there?" We can provide a report right away saying, and say, oh, "We got ten engineers here." Blah blah blah. So we look forward to those. Thank you very much. It's a, I mean, it was a good show. Let me say this to you. Uh, Colonel Grace, somebody's asking you a question. Oh, show, uh, uh, Colonel Grace, somebody it's asking you a question. They say, they say, why is Pinky? They say, why is Pinky? I don't know who's Pinky. Somebody asking you, Colonel Grace. Every uh, day that person that asks that question. <laughs> <laughs> but let me say this. It was a beautiful well, show. Let me, let me say said, something, man. Stella, I really want to say something. Seriously. Go ahead, sir. Don't bring that top of that here, I don't I don't do Tabata. I'm too straightforward for Tabata. Mm -hmm. I listen to what's his name? Um, Freeman. Freeman, Simeon Freeman. And to some extent, I wonder, you know, if people expectations after 40 days or so that Boy Gazuru made magic. The first thing for most people, 
I've never seen where any hundred day plan, 90 day plan, whatever, were even 30 percent complete. If you look at the government's 100 day, you know, plan, I will not even go into it deeply. But the primary, the first thing there is governance, anti corruption, accountability. And that's where his focus has been on primarily. Look, the other areas, especially the economy, there's limited things you can expect there because there's something called lag. The actions that happened last month, the month before, they are the ones that are coming through now that will affect pricing, that will affect you know um, how the economy runs, affect the exchange rate, affect inflation. So it's not automatic that Boyka comes to power and things just change. People have to understand Time has to be given, and the right kind of approach to criticism has to be there because we are at a stage where we really need Liberia to be better. Every Liberia needs to com commit to trying to make Liberia better. I'm not saying people shouldn't criticize, but criticize substantively. Criticize with a purpose. Criticize with recommendations and solutions. Tell us, I wish I had come when he was on, tell us what could Boyka have done so differently right now. Yeah, take care of the bread and butter issues. What does that mean? Elaborate, be very clear and distinct about what you mean when you say take care of the brand and butter issues. This government is seriously challenged, whether it's about capacity, whether it's about people putting people in the right place, whether it's about the, the heavy load that they met that they got to lift up and they're not ready to lift it up yet. Those are things that we have to look at and be objective. I would love to just criticize all day long, but it's not realistic. And this is an opportunity for a restart. Mm -hmm. So if we all can jump on the restart bandwagon and try to do some things, look, there's a capacity deficit in every ministry. Look, the whole system is screwed up. The detriment that this CDC government did to Liberia, I only got a little small view from the let's just perspective. And it just show how they have toned down this system. And you know it's let's just, they were sort of do the census. They were able to do all these different socioeconomic reports and things. They have done nothing. They have no look, story system. They have no control of the data they're supposed to collect. They have not produced anything substantive. So for you, Mr. Richard Gaffan, who's a new head, for him to even show some results, it's not going to take three months, six months. No, it's going to take longer. So the expectations that we have, and that's prevalent across all max ministries, agencies, commissions, authorities, whatever. So the expectation of people that things will just change right away is wrong. So now I'm leaning towards Amara Kone in terms of people managing the expectations, but not stopping to expect better of this government. So, you know, I will just stop there. I won't hold everybody up, but seriously, those are issues we need to discuss. And see you, I appreciate you for wanting us to, to come on to discuss because we are all focused about how things can be better. And we have a team that will believe, that will be receptive, um, received properly by the Liberian people in terms of what we have to offer. And we just hope that, you know, the leadership, the management, etc., cetera, wherever, we embrace us as well so we can support any way we can. But, <laughs> but I want to say this okay, real quick. I'm uh, sorry, this I'm week, going wait one minute. This week, uh, we we'll have Mo Ali, and I think once we'll, we'll confirmed, we are inviting Amara Kone uh, on the show. Uh, Mo Ali Amara Kone, we are also probably going to bring in the National Port Authority MD. All right. It's going to be a gem park, very interesting week because a lot mm -hmm. of stuff happening. National Port Authority, we are receiving unconfirmed report that some mm -hmm. group of people walk out of there with truck load of rice. They stored the truck load of rice belonging to one of the importers okay and i think by i'm ready this is this is a new thing happening here i also think about bringing in the fire service uh commissioner now what's going on with all the fire across the country our son is what's going on what's actually going on this is concerning every today again there was another fire incident on a rival free highway Mm -hmm. Everywhere you turn, every day somebody has burning. Every day somebody dying in their home. We need to speak with the fire service people. We need to. We need to bring them. We need to understand what's going on. What are the things they are putting in place to prevent these things? What are some of those things? I was speaking to one of my family members. 
And she said, listen, Opa, if you let your mosquito call and you pull it to the wrong place, like the children are going to get up and go to the bathroom and kick that in. They're going to go and get on the clothes, get on something. You know, like real homes. If you do keno, that's a problem. If you do lantern, that's a problem. If you get generator, that's a problem. So what are the solutions? Everywhere you turn, somebody has, it even happened to St. Joseph. Thank God he survived. We need to discuss this issue. And I would be so happy that if those guys come on the show that we all can sit down and talk about the issue concerning Liberia. Who stole the people rights from the port? How will you get in a truck, load of rice, and they drove all of the port, and they drove all of the port with thousands and thousand bags of rice? No security there? Your question are my questions. <laughs> And then that's why we're going to bring in uh, the MD uh, because this is scary. I know uh, uh, Patrick Sudi's brother was who was the put security or so. And just to announce, just to announce, just to announce, uh, we want to say to everyone uh, tonight, uh, Ramadan is starting. Soon we're going to give Fatima the last word as she speak to us concerning Ramadan. Fatima. So, but before from the man speak, we'll give a shout out. Me. No, 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 you don't. Okay. You know, What's happening? So I'm not talking? Ramadan. Let's listen for Ramadan, Wait. man. We, we are the real Ramadan. Well, I, think, <laughs> I think all Muslims around the globe all know that Ramadan is the month of forgiveness. It's the month of the Quran. It's the month where we've, op we've opened the first book in the Quran and read it towards the end. So... It's the month where we give a lot of charity. It's the month where we believe that God forgives all of our sins. And it's the month where we repent for our sins. It's the month where the Quran was dis Quran descended. We Let believe that. Sure, You're not a real Muslim. No, don't do that no, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Seriously, don't do this. We no. don't tell the people that Ramadan don't started. No, 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 no. You, you, you are not a Arabic. You are not a Arabic. Let me start reading Quran here for you. Don't, don't try that, you. No, so, you're acting like you know the It's the month where we Quran give a lot of charity. It's the month where we feed the hungry. It's the month where we help the poor. So um, a lot of people have been reaching out to me because they know that CEO does a lot of charity work in Liberia. And he actually, although he's a Christian, but he actually supports most Muslims in the country. And they've been reaching out to me and said that the month of Ramadan is coming and they, they want for me to reach out to CEO. So I'm glad that he gave me this opportunity to do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a staunch Muslim. I pray five times a day. Don't bring them, bring them, bring them. I'm a staunch Muslim. I know the Quran from Surah to Fatiha to Surah to Baqarah. I read every Surah in the Quran. He was him. Pray for Muslim. Not because since 9-11, now we we'll stop putting hijab on our hair. But you tell me I bleed Islam all day, all night, every day. So you are thank you, Ramadan is coming. Wa alaikum salam, wa rahmatullahi, wa barakatuh. Anshallah. Uh, so please, uh, we're just... Don't uh, we're, we're going to confirm, and you know, the Ramadan. Our this is how we do we have to see the moon. The beginning of the moon is the start of Ramadan. We are anticipating the 15th will be the day that the moon will come, we'll see it, and then everyone around the globe will start to fast. Ramadan, we start fast in the morning, uh, from the break of dawn. We don't we eat before that time. We don't eat. We don't stop, swallow our saliva. No sexual intercourse during the, the entire daytime. You don't have any. In fact, you're not supposed to have no unrelated marital sexual intercourse, period. Married couples are not supposed to have sexual intercourse during the hours of fasting, which is from usually in America is more difficult because it's from in the morning people, they never until the sun morning. comes down. So y'all watch the Ramadan journey where we were dependent on CEO to ensure that most of the poor uh, Muslims around the country will be served. The rice program is going to start. He's going to launch the rice program next week. So we can go to the various masjid and spread the love and spread the food and give to our poor people. Yo, thank you so much. God bless each and one, each and every one of you. Uh, every year, I look for the, the month of Ramadan because y'all yes. know me. God know I'm a sinner. But I be, when y'all see me here on spoon every day, y'all will see me with my full hijab. Y'all hear what I mean? Yeah, full hijab. 
in my full gear every day from the beginning of Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, so share some of your share some of your sins. Yeah, Watch yeah. So, oh, yeah, please. Oh, yeah, please wait. Uh, there is a famous there. There is what there is the the creation surah when we believe when God created man, and that's one of my favorite surahs. And I just want to read a little portion in Arabic. Go and go go. You can go. You can do. Extra. Hey, Sina, I tell you, I said no, raise no, money no, for no. the people. No, no, can no. Can I just do, say we be pushing? God bless you, God keep you. I just want one thing. No, you can do extra. They just say say something small. Then you ready to talk. I like it. I like it. Yeah, go ahead. So let me say this. Tomorrow is Sunday. We do the God can bless anybody. God can bless the Muslim too. Okay. So if you want to contribute, we hope that Fatima will be on to ask the Muslim question. I don't know Muslim yes, question. I'll be there. Open the open the internet and learn it. But again, we want to say to all of our Muslim brothers and sisters, listen, I believe in one God. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as Jesus Christ said, do unto others as you expect them to do unto you. That's my own so, principle. Can I love just read that short Quran? Love to God, your God. Let's start, Fatima. You part. Fatima, can that I read my that, short let me know, first. Let me tell you All the right. truth today. Fatima, let me tell you the real truth today. Sometimes you want to come on spoon talk, I black you because you can give me hatter. Many, many days you won't come, I can stop you because you can give me hatter. <laughs> so that's the that's the issue. Many days, anytime you want to come, I can the man, the man, oh you mute it, you mute it, Fatima. You mute it, Fatima. He muted, you he muted, woman, I'm mine. He muted. He's making it uh, I be working. That's why you don't see me on school every day. Don't mind, man. Don't mind. <laughs> my big, well, can I can I please recite my Quran? No, we gotta go. 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 We gotta go. Just one minute. Far. I, I the real Isaac. Can I please just read my Quran? Yeah, take my time. Yes. Take my time. Thank you. It's the, it's, it's the surah where uh, God spoke to mankind. He said, Kulhoa Allah, Ahad, Allah, Samad, Lam Yalidi, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakun Laho Kuf an Ahad. He said, I am God, I'm Allah, I'm one. Just read it, don't interpret, read it. Just read it. Just read it. I just don't read it. You just it? you interrupting the Quran. Yeah, yeah I was that short. Okay, you are impatient. Oh, oh, but wait, 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 wait. Read it again. Sula halama kama. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Go with, go with Slavic again. Go with Slavic again. Kul lahu Quran ahad. And in translation, it says, "Say I am Allah. I'm one. I'm absolute." I beget not, nor was I begotten, and there is nothing, no one like unto me. So that is one of our things. Go get patient. Go get patient. They go get patient with you. Now who go get get patient with? Right here again. They get out there with A B A B A B A B O hospital support child support. Why are you muting me? Why are you muting me? She check up. She check up. She ran away. Now, and I show if she check up or you check up. No, no, no. no, she left. She left. Oh, right. Because she know where I was going. I was going for the Jack Love V to just suck and be a vampire. She check up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to go there. See. Congratulations <laughs> to your son, Glendy. I hope he wins national. Yeah, I'm waiting. He's about to do um the 200. He's in the 200 meter number one. I'm waiting for the match. <laughs> Wonderful. And I just want to give a shout out to Abraham Keita, the young man we used to see just a few years ago. Um, Amara posted I visited him at Yale yes. and he'll be graduating in May. Congratulations yes. going to Ivy League from where he came from. His mom, his single mom raising him in West Point. And these are the kind of it's stories we thing. love about Liberia. Yeah. So it's a good story. Wow. Yes, yes. So hopefully, right. when he graduates or so, CEO, you can invite him to find out where his next steps are because he is a dynamic young man. Yeah, thank you, you very say much. To again, I want to say thanks. Congratulations to Prince last night. His wife, Fatima Pindusali. Hey, see. Who's got that? <laughs> Somebody related to the thing. Congratulations to Prince last night. His wife, Fatima. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me again. Just be putting me with all kind of people. You're full of hell. Hey, all kind of people. Prince Ore. Prince that married me. Why are you being equated? Me? Ah, look. Wow. But you know, you, my sister, I respect you. You and Prince ain't got no relationship. Thank you. The only, the only person that you want back that AB, but AB said no. 
Tell them now. You have a good night. Oh, my man. So you on tonight's stand up? Nine o'clock? Uh, you talking about the late night show? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be on. You want to come on? Let me get home first. I want to go home. So yeah, I'll tell Wait, this you this on the back end. No problem. Huh? No problem. We'll be on. All right. All right. All right. So, folks, we want to leave you. We want to leave you just how we met you. We pray that God can strengthen you. God bless you. You know what? Dama had to leave because uh, the LDC went off. But you're here. Beautiful show. Next week will be all busy next week. We're going to have everybody line up talking about Liberia, man. Listen, as it is and always, Lady Nimlin, we say congrats. Fatima Bintu Salif, congrats. Teddy, my dude, wherever you're from, Teddy, we want to say uh, 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 greetings to you. Judy Sono, good uh Kekula, uh, Keman Kekula, greetings. Lord Mafila, uh, Omaru Rogers, uh, Atta Conan, Musa Yakbaburo, Divan George Damansin, Thomas Kumen, Seku Sese, many of you who want to say, may God bless you all. May God keep you. Have a good evening. They stay and off the spawn talk right now. We sign it out and say good night.